We've been in this spot before. Overconfident, as sometimes I am. We went into Claire, it was almost a disaster. We left Claire and then ran straight into disaster, destruction, dismay, the dismantling of the family. Today will be a different day. Because today, we go and get reinforcements. We obliterate Team Rocket. We go get more reinforcements. We train up the family. We beat Claire with nary a death. And then the evolutions were coming for you. So you know what? Let's grab Totodile. Our little guy over here. And let's see what there is for us to snag. I think we will... We will leave the Gyarados at home because Gyarados is not going to help us catch anything. It's very, very scary. And sometimes Gyarados has been known to be a mean, mean, you know, water guy. He's like, ah, I'm a water guy. And that's like, that's not the energy I need around uh, possible recruits for the family. So let's, uh, let's keep going. Let's see, uh, what items I do have. If there are any, like, held items I'm missing that could help the family, feel free to throw things at me. I am, uh, not a get- or not above getting advice from you guys. Moonstone? Give me a water stone! Are you kidding me? Oh, come on, Mom. Johto and Kanto or just Johto? We can't think about Kanto until we beat Johto. I, uh, I refuse to think too big. The family needs to get to the top of the first mountain before we can think of anything else. Um, I'm not allowing the family to get too big for their britches. It's something to worry about. Okay. Can I show, uh, can I show the team? I've shown the team already. But I'm not gonna show it right now because, chat, we're about to go get some new members of the squad. It doesn't matter what the old members were. What matters is what the team looks like after a little bit of a jaunt where we need to go. I'm also going the wrong way, but don't worry about that. It's not important because I actually need to fly. I need to fly in the sky and I don't have my flying Pokemon. It's okay. It's fine. Oh boy. You know, it's, it's tough, right? It's tough when you goof. And speaking of goof, um... Hmm. They call me the goofy guy. Um, nope, you could be helpful. Who is not helpful? Is the rock? No, but the rock could be helpful. I think coughing is not going to be helpful. I feel like coughing is most likely to die here. So I think we don't need that. I right, Katie, you don't need to you don't need to bring silly Billy back up. You know how you know what that did. Uh, you know what that did to my confidence. You, you, the family hasn't stopped poking fun at me since that was brought up. Come on. Come on. Cliff Edge Gates. Well, no Pokémon here, that's fine. Route 47 brand new encounter, but not only that. Oh, no, no, you stupid, stupid man. I was trying to stop before you. Why are your Pokemon so weak? That's like really silly, actually. I don't understand. Geocheck, can you please kill this thing? Can you please? I need you to kill it like really badly. I'm getting really angry. Thank you. That was, I hated every second of that. Now I need to switch. That was awful. I'm, I'm just going to need you to kill this thing. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. Okay. That was a little bit of a, that was a little bit of a blunder. If I do say so myself, which I do. So uh, let's, let's just ignore the mean man and go into the cave of wonder. We call this the cave of wonder because it broke my game. But we call this the cave of wonder because we're about to find the perfect member of the family, right here, right now. You son of a, what the heck is wrong with you crabs? I'm so desperate to get a crab on the squad. I keep going and you never turn. You could be green. The baby one could be golden. It would be sick. I'd be so happy, but no, no. You just wanna play hard to get, don't you? Oh, could have just re-rolled. That would have been cool. Oh, yeah, screw you, Golbat. I wanna find I wanna find the crab. I wanna see the I wanna see the shiny crab. Where are you? No, I I'm not leaving till I see the shiny crab. I am furious. You are a dumb, stupid crab. Be shiny. I just I wanna see it. I wanna see the shiny. I come on. 
But Chop, this is not the time. This is not the time. Geodude, this is not the time. Quagsire, this is certainly not the time. Where is the, where is the crab? Crab? Crabs. Where are you? Crab? What? Crab, what the hell? Am I blacklisted from seeing the crab? What did I do to the crab? I just want to, I want to yell at the crab. I want to get angry at the crab. Is there something wrong with that? I just, I want the crab to understand. Compliment Maryland. Uh, you know, I, it's a merry land. I, uh, you stupid crab. I, nothing is, nothing is being shiny right now. I feel like this is a hoax. I do have Totodile out. It's just dead. It still works, even if the Totodile's dead. See, look, he's pink. Crab, I will find you. I will find you! Not you, Machoke. I would actually really love to have you as a shiny. You look really cool in this game. I didn't realize Machoke's shiny was that good. Hey, just got my merch today. It's awesome. Nice merch, mate. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you're enjoying the merch. Thank you so much for snagging something. You know what? That makes it a little bit better, even though I am in an absolute box. Chat, I... We need to find the crab. I If I don't find the crab, I feel like I don't have a chance for today to work. I need... I... I... I it's... I mean... I... Am I crazy? I feel like I need the crab before I can move on. Say Old Bay three times. Old Bay! Old Bay, Old Bay! Okay. Oh, come on. It's gonna happen. I just, it's like, you know, like sometimes like a basketball player, right? You just need to see, uh, you know, one go through the net, right? You just have to see one and then you're going to be good. Snowy secret. I appreciate the heck out of you. Thank you so much for the Twitch prime. Okay. I really don't think I'm going to, I don't think it's going to happen. This is unreal. Are Krabby's like only female? Like, is this like a, is it impossible to get one shoddy? No, we're not gonna say hail yeah to get a shiny. Are you kidding me? No, that's never worked. That's never been a thing. This is the family, damn it. Oh, that's cool. That's cool too. I think I found every other shiny but the crab. Now I am so desperate to find a shiny crab. This is killing me. This is the only thing that matters anymore. The family will not rest until we find a crab. We will then consume the crab. Who would like to consume the crab? I am furious at the crab. Chetsy, you are the scariest thing to consume the crab. You seem like a very creepy guy who does want to eat the crab. I'm gonna, you're going to eat the crab, Chetsy. You will eat the crab. Whooper, no, you don't want to be eaten. That's, get out of here. Damn it, Kingler. Thank you, chat. Thank you. I really needed it. I really, I needed your support in this moment. Oh my God. What is going on? What is going on? Come on. What is going on? What the hell? We will find the crab. We can't move on till we find the stupid crab. Oh my god. No, it, it's gonna happen. Oh my god. <laughs> no, we're doing this. I'm not giving up. It's not time to give up. I am in so deep. Have you ever heard of the, the what is that? The, the sunk cost fallacy? I have sunken so much time into this. Have I wasted your time and my time? Maybe, but I'm going to find the crab. I will sink as much time into this. That is such a cool shiny. How did we find a shiny Steelix first? This is absolute malarkey, as all of the kids are saying. How do we find a shiny Steelix? That must be like a 1% encounter in here. What the hell? Shiny Graveler? Oh, come on! Oh my god. Crab, I, I will not give up. I will not give up. You will not break me. You will not win. I know you're working with the Eevees. I know this is a conspiracy against me. I have found every single shiny in this cave. I have found... Yes! Yes!
Yes! Now we will destroy the crab! We destroy the shiny crab! <laughs> we will consume its power! And then we can move forward! And now with the power of the shiny crab, nothing can stand in our way. We are an unstoppable force! <laughs> it's what we needed. And now we are truly, truly unstoppable. Camping guy, your Pokemon are weak and pathetic. I don't want to see them. I have bigger fish to fry. I have shinies to snag. Possibly even a shiny crab. Okay. Y Katie, I think you have to eat crabs now. It's the only, it's the only way to succeed. You have to uh, have a fantastic dinner. And just remember, it's for the family. Good rod for the family. I think this is a guaranteed shiny. We consumed the crab to gain the shiny. Is there any, anything else? Anything else? No. 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 Lemon, don't say that. Lemon, don't say that. Lemon, don't say it. Don't, don't even, don't even bring that up as a, a suggestion. How do I make it faster out of nowhere? Uh, simply built different. Guys, if you have any questions of what I'm doing, like how I'm playing this on the computer or anything like that, Google search that away. I very much cannot lead you to figuring that out. It's definitely illegal, but I promise you, whatever question you have, if you throw them to Google, you will get like 5 million articles or YouTube videos explaining exactly how to do the thing you're hoping to do. Like it's, um, I promise you. Quicker than even I could tell you what's going on. Wait, no. Because we just go into you, and then you just earthquake, and then we win, right? Yeah, now, now that's dead. Easy. Cool. Nice. I don't know why these people are so weak. The issue is that John needs to get his head in the game? You don't think my head is in the game? I eat, breathe, sleep, think, family. There's nothing else going on upstairs. I'm just thinking about the family at all times. I could not be more dialed in today. I just couldn't let the, the crabs feel like they had a win over the family. I couldn't let them get away with slighting the family. I couldn't let them get away. You know what? It's the famous couple. Everyone's going to make comments about the couple. So you know what, everybody? Feast your eyes on the famous couple. E everyone, everyone's, so, everyone's so stoked on the famous couple. It's it's the thing. Right, everyone, get it, out of them, get it out of your system. Because we have more important things to focus on. Like Route 48. And this is the shiny guaranteed to us after consuming the shiny crab. Nothing can stop destiny. Didn't, didn't, didn't count. Didn't. Didn't, didn't count. Destiny is a, a tricky thing. It's a tricky thing. Nope. All right, fine. But wa watch this. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. We still have Totodile in front. Or do we need the Totodile walking behind us? I mean, Totodile's still in front. So is that does that work? I think it works. De Destiny comes in many forms, but none more powerful than this. It's 
It's not a good start. So it was definitely working. I'm just not feeling it. Like I think it's not me, it's them. It's not it's not me, it's them. John, where are the packs? I want a pack. We already opened a pack. Chad, do I deserve a pack? I feel like I feel like I let the squad down. Did I did I let the squad down or did the did the world let us down? Like what's the what are we what are we thinking here? Open a pack for Ginge. G Ginge is off on a walk. We need a pack? Okay. The crab works in mysterious ways. I thought the crab was guaranteeing a shiny. The crab is guaranteeing the card I am seeking. Unfortunately, Pokemon cards are dumb and they let me know right away whether or not the card is a good one or a bad one And I don't have it in me to pretend that I didn't just see a green code card knowing that this is gonna be trash But we can still enjoy the art because Bufflot's cool Spupa's chilling in the forest. Lickitung is creepy as always. That's actually fun That's very basic manky art. Oh my god. That is sick. Okay, Mawile Omantis Sure sick okay i uh i'm feeling quite scorned and i'm feeling i'm feeling a little dejected a little dejected so you know what god it's another green one what what's the, the i mean i'm not doing a card trick just uh boopity it's making a house. You're really happy. Uh, cat, I guess. Cool. Snake man. Ooh, it's another snake. Ooh, it's a victory bell. Uh, and then it's just, it's... No crabby curse. No, you know what? No. I think we need another speech. I think we just need another speech. This is, this is getting out of hand. I've been hearing the talk on the streets. People think another curse has been put onto the family. Well, I'm here to clear up the rumors. Curse. Evie Krabby doesn't matter. Hard work always pays off. And when you look at this team, when you look at the family, there is nothing. Nothing that can stop this squad. Maybe we didn't get a brand new member of the squad. Well, let me tell you. It doesn't matter. We have a full team of shiny Pokemon. A reinforcements are only good if you think you're gonna lose a Pokemon. We ain't losing anyone. This team is unbreakable this team will bring us to the top so even if the little crabs want to put a curse on the family it don't matter we're making our way to the next gym the evolutions and the elite four and taking them all down i don't want to hear any more talk about crab this crab that the family cannot be defeated. Remember this. Remember this next time you doubt the family. Because I won't hear any more about a curse. This is where we shock the world. This is our moments. 
So chat, are you with me? Are you with me and the family? Let's continue forward. Also, the person who said Krabby Curse and misspelt it, come on, you're better than that. <laughs> come on, you're better than that, man. I don't know who it was. The name flashed by the screen quickly, but come on. <laughs> come on. Okay. We do need to make a big decision here of who we want going against Claire. Now, oh, actually, none of Claire's Pokemon do have Thunder, which is big. So I think we do need to have you on the team. Is there any Pokemon that will not be good against Claire? The Graveler will not be fantastic against it. It could help us against the Gyarados, though. And it could help us against one of the Dragonairs. But I think it's a little bit too risky to come in with that. Hey, Wildcat, I appreciate the heck out of you. Thank you so much for your Prime. And I'm just saying, hey, if you're enjoying the stream, you haven't followed already, make sure. Make sure you follow. Hey, you got, a, you got a Twitch Prime? Throw that my way. Why not? Why not? Don't let it burn a hole in your pocket. It burns a hole in your pocket. Your pockets have holes. That's horrible. Come on. <laughs> Come on. No one wants holes in their pockets. You need the pocket to be the hole in your pants to put things in. What the heck is going on here? Okay, I feel like there's some good moves we should be looking for. Wait, who died? No one died. I just had a whole speech on that. Whoa, whoa. Cool. Oh, huh, I never get a prize. Sick. Well, oh yeah, isn't there like things happening down here? I, you know what, Nibbles, I, I do my best to remember all these things, but I don't always remember everything, and that's on me. That is a, a big hand up on me moment. Chat, I don't know why there are people freaking out that someone uh, on the team is gone. No one's gone. I, we, we just started. Have I ever beaten Claire? I have beaten Claire. We did beat Claire the first time we faced her. We don't talk about what happened after, but we have. So chat, this is going to be an interesting part of the game where we are just going to quickly speed through roughly 5 million rocket grunts. So, uh, get ready. Get the Mystic Water and Cherry Grove. Um, remind, uh, <sighs> Cherry Grove, Cherry Grove. Where's Cherry Grove? I don't know the cities at all. Blackthorn, no. Cherry Grove. Mystic Water. Let me just get that now because I will forget one million percent otherwise. Give me the thing. Give me the thing. Give me the thing. No. Nope. Okay, it's fine. I got this. I can't midstream change it to rechats. I mean, I could, but that would just be such a waste of time. Oh my god, everyone's really upset about this. Uh, where that? Wait, where's Mystic Water? Do you give it to me? Surf to the right? You mean the left? I'm assuming. Yay! Nice. Oh, cool. Um. We're definitely going to give it to Gyarados. Gyarados is so powerful. Oh, my God. Let me... Why did I go here? Okay, is there's a... if there's any other items like that you guys like can think of that I just have not given to something, please let me know. Uh, okay. Now let's make some uh, progressione, as all of the kids are saying. King's Rock for Politoed. I mean, Politoed, you need to trade it for it to evolve. And I feel like, I feel like Poliwrath would be a little better. Oh, uh, we have to go get in the Team Rocket costume. Where do you get King's Rock? I feel like I can do King's Rock after. Let's just get this done now. Let's get this done now and then we'll, uh, we'll do some adventuring. 
Misty? Oh, well, we can't battle Misty for some time. Slowpoke well? Okay. Yeah, I was thinking King's Rock for flinches. I think that could be really nice. Could be actually pretty nice on stand chat to like really flinch everything, but we could also just put it on, I don't know. Eh, we'll see, we'll figure it out. Maybe, uh, maybe on you, it just has the soothe bell right now. It is, I never learned my lesson, Katie. That is for sure. Yeah, I, I apologize to the one person watching who really enjoys watching uh, Pokemon creators waste their time going through these Team Rocket battles normally. I will not be doing that. And if I lose a Pokemon because I speed up, you can be mean to me for the rest of time. The game's the game. Either way, getting this wheezing is incredibly important. Coughing, very easy to kill. Wheezing, really hard to take down. Really happy to have him on like this on the team. This, and it's really pretty shiny. I really do like shiny wheezing, so I think this is gonna be cool. Someone enjoys that. Hey, Tyler, man, come on, that's crazy. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the 5,000 bits, man. I best see some hype in the chat. If you have the Machamp Bling emote, you got the Pokemon 7 Poggies, you spam that right now, please. But thank you, man. I really, truly appreciate the support. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And you know what? I think the only way I can truly show my, my thanks is keeping the family strong and dominating the rest of this game. My God, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Where is my heelsies? Where is the heelsies? There's the heelsies. Thank you so much, man. Okay. If Tyler supports you, is that a business expense? I'm confused. What do you mean? An expense is like, like buying the Pokemon cards and opening them on stream is like a business expense. Someone supporting me is just making money for the business. I think I'm a little confused of what you were asking. Unless you're assuming that's my editor, Tyler. <laughs> no, that's a, that's a, that's a much different uh, relationship between me and the editor. <laughs> I pay Mr. Editor Man. <laughs> he does not, he does not send me bits. <laughs> Tyler Man, hey, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. I don't know what spurred on the support, but it truly means the world to me. Thank you, thank you, man. Truly, truly. Wow, what a what a nice way to, to break up these battles. We're speeding through them, paying no mind to them. The wonderful bits coming in, and you know what? That's the that's the star of the show. Not level 23 Grimers that literally every Pokemon on my team can one-shot. Is that very annoying? The bits, though, very fun. Let's see, okay. You're almost at this point your own Nuzzy? I am loving the fact you called it a Nuzzy. I'm all in on that. Shortening words for absolutely no reason? Big fan. <laughs> hey, man. Thank you. I do truly appreciate it, man. I really do. I right, thank you, thank you. Man, oh man, you know what we had? We started with a curse from the crabs, right? The crab people were up in arms about us trying to consume them for shiny luck. And now we've replaced that after an incredible speech with just the support of uh, someone who truly understands how amazing the family is. Feels like a big upgrade. Feels like a very, very big upgrade. Magnemite, we're taking you out. I probably should go back and heal a little bit more often as we're getting status, just because this can get really, really frustrating, especially if, um... <laughs> Man, thank you so much. I really don't know what to say at this point, so I'm sorry if, if my reactions very much uh, lessen. I, I, I really appreciate it. I don't know what to say. Tyler's all in on chat. Uh, Tyler could not love chat more is definitely what I've gotten out of that 
I appreciate the heck out of it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Tyler wasn't even a sub, Levin. Thank you so much for gifting that man a sub. He very much, very much did not need to, to pay to give himself a sub after that. Man, oh man. <laughs> wow. Usually we go through the rocket hideout and it's like, you know what? We're talking about just whatever chaos is going on in my brain or... For better or worse, the chat's brain. You know what? Ooh, a little bit of the, uh... Ooh, the cult emo. I don't see that often. That's a pretty good emo, honestly, at this point, for everything going on with the family, which is absolutely not a cult. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, this is a big group of people who, who love the family, you know, and, and chat. In all ways, and some might say it's like a cult. Uh, I don't know. We're having fun. Ooh, I feel like Porygon. I feel like I need to be smart here, because the yep, there it is. It does have charge beam, and that did so many damages. Now I did outspeed, so we can kill here. So let's not be silly. We take it out and move on. But I do need to be a little bit smarter. I do need to be a little bit smarter. I, well, well, editor Tyler, I don't, I, I'm not, no, I will take no responsibility for that. I, nope, don't, I, hmm, hmm. Uh, I don't know about that. Hmm, okay. Ooh, there we go. I don't know why I didn't just body slam that time. I'm definitely starting to make some her just horrible decisions um but we will go heal after this it'll be fine everyone will still be happy and there we go uh that's a that's a solid question that i feel like is worth answering is i get questions like this a lot and i think it is important to to make make sure i say something Will you ever consider hosting some Unite games with subs fans or maybe do a competition between your fans, Mikey fans, and Jax fans? There's almost a 0% chance I would do that. And uh, the reason for that um, is decently simple. I My smallest platform is Twitch, and we have 260 people watching this. Unite, it would be me and four other people. The people that would want to play Unite with me would almost never get picked to play Unite, because that's just, you know, like, luck is cruel, right? It's, you know, the people that really want to play, because there's so many people, probably wouldn't get picked, and I think most of the other people watching, like, I think the draw of playing with me is being able to play with me, and if you're not playing with me, people wouldn't enjoy that. Um, like, they, they would rather the content be something else. So, it's difficult because... There's just so many people. If I upload a video on my YouTube channel, what's the least amount of views a video on Pokemon 7 Plays has gotten recently? Like, let's let's go check that out because I think it's a good way to, to really bring my point home. So the least amount of views a Pokemon 7 Plays video has gotten in the past month is 95,000 views. My last two videos on Pokemon 7, a channel that was dead, have gotten tens of thousands of views. Again, Pokemon Unite is five people, me and four other people. It's just, it feels way too impossible to be able to play a game with fans and then actually leave anyone happy with that experience. Cause I just, I, I just know how it's gonna go. The people that wanna play with me are not gonna get picked. The people that asked won't get picked. And the only reason people are asking is no one's at, like, no one's asking to watch other people they don't know play with me. The goal is for them to play, which is very fair. But, uh, I don't know. That, those are just the thoughts. Uh, maybe I don't know something about Unite. Maybe there's a way to make playing with people easy. But that's just kind of... That's, like, what my two cents on it uh, are. You are a fake director. You're also a weak man. But you do have level 30. So I will... I'll take a second and see how strong you truly are. I can't imagine... Any of his Pokemon can even touch Crobat, but just in case, I won't go too fast. Bite, I think, should kill from here. 
He has all coughings and wheezings? Oh, God. Okay, well, that's... you can't... All coughings and wheezings? I just... I obliterate him with Chet, right? We just do this. Yeah, we just... We just do this. Yeah, I... He really only... Did, that's it? This is like a real thing? This is a real battle in the game. I'm, I'm actually kind of annoyed by that. But now I just go into chat. So I just beat him with my own version of what he has? And that's it? That's it? No, he has one more. Okay. Well, then I, I guess we just go into you. And just surf. That was an executive battle. Why are the Johto levels so stupid? What's like, what is the point? What was the point of any of these trainers? I just be like a gym with high level Pokemon. Why did that man own like, what? <laughs> what's the point? <laughs> It's so, like, the more times I play Heart Gold, the more I feel like they're wasting my time, and it really frustrates me. It's quite... Come on, guys. Like, come on. Oh, man. You're gonna get a Shiny Legendary in this run? I mean, the odds of that happening are quite literally 1 in 8,001. What? Uh, 1... No. 1 in 8,192, I think? I think that's the level. We do have to buy some more antidotes, though, so let's just do that quick. <laughs> Didn't even know he was built to die to one ember. I mean, yeah. I, if Nick was uh, here, he could he could let me. He could let the, the world know that <laughs> coughing should go down to an ember. Can we please do a submission? A submission of of what? I don't, what, what's that mean? I have no idea what that could possibly mean. Like, can you, like, practice the move submission, like in Pokemon Unite, that Machoke and Machamp uses? You want to, like, pick me up, spin me, and throw me into the Earth's crust? You absolutely cannot do that. I veto that. I hate that idea. That's a horrible idea. I feel like I completely lose out. No, you can't do that to me. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. I really appreciate it, guys. There's been a lot of Twitch Primes these past few streams, and that is something that I really, really, really appreciate seeing. Because if anyone's going to support me monetarily, and there's an option to not have to spend extra money, that is always the best option. So I really appreciate the people throwing their Primes at me. Not having to spend any extra cash, but still supporting. What the... Oh. Hmm. I don't like that. Uh, thanks for taking the time to respond to both Sam and John. I know I'd be happy with just a chance to get paired up for a round. The internet has all kinds. Oh, I, you know, and I, I really appreciate that. And the thing is, it's never... And that's the thing that's so tough with answering those questions. So I just try to be as honest as possible because I don't think that, you know, you particularly are going to be upset with me. But I, there are so many people on the internet who just don't understand that the world does not revolve around them. And... There's a lot of people, like, I used to do, you know, stuff where it's like, oh, I'll do, like, showdown battles with fans. And people would just get so upset when they weren't immediately picked. And it, you know, Wi-Fi battles, and it just became such a, a mental burden. And that was before I had a fraction of the audience I have now. Wait, are, Nick, are you talking about robbing me? What's going on? Wait, no! No, Nick, no, you can't have my plushie in the... Hey, come on, I like the fampy. What's going on? <laughs> no, wait, why are you guys making plans to steal my plushies? I don't like this one bit. <laughs> what the hell is going on? I'm ignoring this because the family is about to go against Cheat, our rival. I don't need to, to hear about all these scary things because the rival actually has Pokemon at a level that slightly worries me it shouldn't be an issue but this is definitely a little bit uh a little bit scarier than the previous battles Ooh, that's some good damage okay silk scarf on this thing is really really nice i know i put <laughs> calm mind on this just in case calm mind works out and we get like it's fun special moves but like i don't know man the headbutt's pretty powerful Magnemite, we don't have ground right now. 
But I feel like we could probably three shot at the worst, right? Oh my god, let's go. I hate you, Magnemite. There we go. Broke through. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Quilava. Um, do I want to switch? I feel like... Well, actually, we have two water types. Of course I'm going to switch. There's no reason not to switch. We go into Polychet. I don't care about that because Surf's never going to miss. I'm literally riding a giant wave to obliterate this little spiky fire guy. What do you mean? I don't like that. I feel like Quilava is saying mean things to Polychet, and now it's avoiding. How did you avoid the wave? No, I, I refuse to believe that's a thing. Get out of here. Get out of here. Polychet is not going to go down. Come on. There's that. What do you have left? What do you even have left? Haunter? Well, no. We got to go into a Pokemon to consume its soul. You... That's a little bit worrying, but we're not going to let it intimidate us. We're not going to. Okay. We're fine there. We take it out with Aqua Tail. We move on and never happens. Okay, Haunter, out of there. I think there's one more Mon, who do you got? Sneasel. Sneasel's a pretty scary Pokemon, but I'm pretty sure any of our moves will take it out, and there's no way Sneasel can take us out in one hit. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. That did zero damage. That did zero damage. That did literally zero damage. I feel like it might have lulled me into a false sense of security, because that's a physical move. But it still did zero damage. Get out of here. Are you kidding me? You fool. What was that? No, get out of here. All right. Uh, the rival cheat, even with his dirty tricks, couldn't take us out. Now it's smooth sailing until the next gym. Cool. I don't care, buddy. Can we do a submission for a new chat after we are out of Team Rocket's hideout? Also, maybe put more stuff to use Pokemon coins for. Uh, so the Pokemon 7 coins, a lot of people have asked for more stuff. I have no idea what I would put on. Because the problem is a lot of people's suggestions are for things that would like impact the stream quality and have me like stop focusing on the fun of the stream to like... I, like, spend time recognizing someone who used, you know, currency that, like, didn't mean anything. So if we can come up with the right things, I can add them, but I feel like it's a, a negative on the stream. I don't know what you mean by a submission for a new chat. The new chats work on, you know, it's Nuzlocke encounters, right? But Tyler, thank you for the 1,000 bits again, man. I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate it, man. I very, very much do. But... I think, I think the team should be good. We just have to go, oh my God. We just have to go through these quick. How did we go back down to 23? I just battled the guy with level 32s and now we're back on 23. I can just make it make sense, man. 20K to unlock an emote permanently. I don't have the ability to do that. Like that's not an option I have. Uh, to, like, I couldn't make that happen. Like, if that was an option open to me, I'd actually, I'd definitely consider that. I think that could be fun. But, it's not a thing. Tyler, man! My god, thank you so much! Thank you so, so much, man! 10,000? 10, 10,000, man! Thank you! Yo, thank you so much. I, I mean, man, I really, really appreciate it, dude. Wow. And we're taking that and we're immediately opening up a few packs. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I, we're opening up a cool three packs 
Because I'm gonna get, we're gonna get the, the card we've been looking for. Thank you so much, man. That is completely unnecessary, but so appreciated, man. Thank you so, so much. Man, oh man. I really, really appreciate that. That is crazy. All right, and I got a good feeling now. And by good feeling, I mean this is a white code card. So you know what that means, chat? <laughs> hey, you know what that means? It means we're spoiled and we know this is going to be... So Don't even say shiny Eevee. Don't even say that. Don't even say shiny Eevee. Grass energy. Durant of the Kevin variety. Camping gear. Haunch crow. Ooh, I love the background. That is a beautiful card. I love that. Wow. Mienfu stretching, getting ready for that alternate card art. Yamper. Okay, that's adorable. My God, the art in this set is so good. Corefish. I love the art there too. I mean, even the scatterbug is solid. Orbital and a hollow kingdra. That's actually really, really beautiful. Oh my God. Okay. I don't usually care about the hollows as much, but that is a really, really good looking kingdra. My God, that's really nice. Okay. Well, now... Here's an Empoleon, which means Empoleon alternate art. Soon cometh. This is what we're here for. This is what we're waiting for. Okay. One, two, three, four. Gonna be the Empoleon you want? Band nerd here for it. Big fan. Boop. Ooh, a Cedra. Nice. Fan of waves. Dawdler. Spoink with all the lights shining on it. Okay, famous Spoink, Bronzor, Tepig again, Pajarisu just being a little squirrel guy, Mianfu stretching, Timber building a house, and a villain. All right, well, one more pack. One more pack. We haven't gotten anything too crazy yet. We got a solid pull. We got a solid pull today. Nothing too crazy. One, two, three, four. But I'm sure it'll be soon. One, two, three. Ooh, I love that. Okay, that's nice. Okay, I'm done with my counting. Oh my God, I love the clay ones. The clay ones have always been my favorites. I think they're very fun and different. Flip bug and, huh, pretty cool art. Nothing crazy, but the art's pretty cool. All right, well. The rare cards are hiding from us. The rare cards are hiding from us. The uh, the last booster box we opened was a horrible, horrible disaster of bad, bad pulls, but I'm sure this one will be much better. What happens? Okay, I do not need you in front right now. Best streamer ever, you earned it. Hey, I don't, I don't know about the, the uh, best streamer ever thing, but I truly appreciate the the high praise, and I really appreciate the support, my man. I really do. It really does mean the world. It's like a streaming is an interesting thing, right? Because it's like with YouTube, you know, at least I know there's the advertisers, but streaming, so much of it really does come down to people hopefully enjoying what you do enough to want to support, and it. I do not take it lightly when anyone, anyone thinks I am worthy of, you know, supporting me monetarily. So I really, truly appreciate it, man. But we need to go back and heat. Was that an item? Wait, wh what is this? Is this a secret? What? Wait, what? Why? Wait, what is this? Does anyone know why there's just what? Like, what is that? Thank you so much, Caddyshack, for the five gift, and my god. I appreciate it, guys. I really appreciate it. Man, oh man. I mean, come on. How could the family be stopped today? How could the family be stopped today? Wow. The day truly is going to be a special day. All right. We're going to keep on keeping on. I think we're done with most of these trainers. We just have to figure out this puzzle. Okay. Okay, now then. Boop. And then... We do that. Cool. 
Sweet. We battle you. You're going to be easy because all of these people are not worth my time. Hey, Stacks. Thank you for the 100. I appreciate you. Apps. I mean, come on. We're, we're hanging out with the family. Of course, it's a great day, but I hope all is well with you, friend. All right. You? Random person who's going to have two Pokemon easy to kill? Not two Pokemon that I can Oko, though. And sneakily, the scariest Golbat the world's ever seen. Jeez. Man, oh man. Hefty with the five gift subs. My God, guys. Thank you. I really freaking appreciate it. Man, oh man. We gotta take this energy and bring it to the top as we bring Team Rocket down. And we go to that final gym. I thank you guys, Stealth of the 100. I appreciate you guys all so much. My God. My winning son? I mean, I... Pfft. It feels like I'm winning. It really feels like I'm winning right now. Come on. Who's going to stop us, right? Come on. Who's going to stop us? <laughs> Stealth, I thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much. Man, oh man. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We'll grab the amulet coin. I will absolutely throw that on something. Another gift sub. I appreciate it. I thank you. We'll throw that on chatting. Man, oh man. I mean, you know what? Like, I, I feel like a day like this, it kind of, it kind of reminds me because I, I don't know. Twitch used to be my main platform. I've gotten like so much enjoyment out of this past week of streaming but it's been difficult to plan like a big stream event and i don't know maybe maybe it is time to get back to thinking about a, a big stream event at some point in the future it's tough with nikki's schedule i think she's gonna go into a month where she's like working every day but one so i want to make sure that i'm still you know taking care of the puppy but if she has a day off then i'm able to you know spend time with her but I don't know, maybe not a, maybe not a, you know, a sleep lock, but a, a big, a big stream in the future could be a lot of fun. Eh, we'll have to, we'll have to see. But I think we're almost done, Team Rocket. I think we're going to be able to get some more family members very soon. You are going to be simple, right? Your team... Very weak. Tyler with another thousand. Thank you. As we get close to another hype train level. I don't actually remember the last time we had a successful hype train like that. Thank you, man. And that is a good call. Please, guys, please do not ask for anyone to gift you a sub. Um, if people are doing gift subs because they want to support, I really, really appreciate it. But never get to the point where you're like demanding someone else spend their money on you. If you end up being the person the gift sub goes to, that is awesome. But please, it is definitely very rude to, to then ask someone to basically pay for you to do something. Kev, I appreciate the gift sub as I'm saying that. <laughs> All right. Level three completed. We're on to level four. But even more importantly, one more executive and then actually a pretty difficult Team Rocket battle. Arbok... Level 32. It's still nothing too crazy. And you know what? Let's Hypnosis make this a bit easier. Get Hypno in a little bit easier. I know Hypno is getting close to the level cap, which is 41, but hey. Why not be smart and why not get unlucky? Why not get unlucky? Okay, I do not like that. Come on. No, come on. Oh. I think we just go into check carp and try to obliterate this thing. We get the intimidate off on this thing, which will help. And then I think we can maybe even one shot it with Aqua Tail. Okay, that's not going to do much. Not going to do much. Boom. Oko it. Come on, check carp. Obliterate the snake. Come on. Boom. There it is. Okay, that's what I expected. That's what I like to see. Murkrow. Hmm. 
Let's let's just oko it with a bunch of aqua tails. We'll go heal after this just to make sure we're being smart. Just to make sure we're being smart. Vile plume, that's fine. We go into the Batman and we're gonna be good. Boom, dead. Easy. Easy. Tyler, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Wish you could stay, but I got to work one more 1000 A. I appreciate everything you did today. I appreciate the first of the, the last thousand bits, man. I hope work is. Hopefully, it's fun. I have no idea what could be going on, but you know what? Hey, it's just going to be a great work day, and don't worry. The family will not let you down. Well, absolutely not. So let's heal up. Let's have a little bit more coffee because I have some. And we're continuing forward. We will continue forward. Okay, there's that. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, I don't want to lead with Polychat. Let's lead off with Stan Chat. I think that's a good lead going into a big battle as... Stan chat will have intimidate so no matter what they lead with at least we can put ourselves in a better spot with the intimidate <clears throat> we go there we go there we go here and if i remember anything from last time even though the rest of those battles were incredibly easy this man is no joke so Archer, I'm not underestimating you, but you need to know there's nothing you could possibly do to bring the family down. It's our destiny to beat this next gym and take on the evolutions one more time. So you know what? Could have let off with the frog. <laughs> Either way, we're gonna outspeed and headbutt this thing into a different dimension. Come on. Ooh, I was getting excited. I was ready to... I was getting ready to celebrate. But that did literally zero. My god. Okay. Out of here. One down, two to go. What do you have left? Hound Doom. Okay. Decently predictable. I'm going to confuse Riot, as I'm sure we're going to have to switch out after this. So let's just confuse Riot and make it easier to deal with. As Houndoom can be a little bit of an issue. I'm pretty sure Gyarados will be fine. But just in case we switch in, it like burns us. Let's just confuse Ray and hopefully mess with it a bit. We get the Intimidate too. Everything coming together. Come on. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Alright, that should guarantee the kill with the Aqua Tail. Oh my god, it's too easy! Even this man can't even put a dent into the family. Not even a dent. That thing, out of here. One more to go. One more to go. Coughing? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? A coughing? What, is this thing gonna go boom? Uh, is it gonna try to leave a scratch? Ooh, okay. I didn't like the miss. That was a little that was a little worrying. I did not like the crit poison. I will say that I did not like the crit poison. But we're fine. Because we're taking it out in one hit, and we're moving forward, and we won't ever think about the stupid coughing again. Okay, so I didn't I didn't like that either. But we're going to do the impossible and just take out the coughing now and everything will be fine. I promise, okay? Woo, we did it, okay? We're fine. Everything's great. We're done. Boom. Awesome. Keep going. This is the run. This is the run! <laughs> okay, we're fine. We're fine. All right, cool. Rainbow ring. Oh, rainbow wing. That's another encounter we can get. Oh, there it is. Perfect. So let's uh let's just answer it real quick so we don't have to be annoyed by that. Let's go heal and we have a few more encounters. Okay. I will not be catching a chingling. Not gonna do it. Certainly will not do it. Believe in the heart of the chat. 
<laughs> I'm fine with that. We can absolutely do that. Okay. Is it just me or is everyone's message appearing twice? I have not seen that. But let me check something real quick like. Real quick like, because you know, sometimes you just gotta be a bad streamer. Um and just check something. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I you know what? I the beauty of a stream is I can say things that I don't often get to say in, like, on YouTube just because it's yeah, difficult to reach most of my viewers. Most of my viewers do not follow me on, like, any of my social medias, but today's video, I, like, I was really proud of it. Tyler did an unbelievable job with the footage we gave him, and I thought it would be a fun video. I thought it would be fine. I did not think, like, right now it's, a, like, 1 out of 10. I didn't think that was even a possibility. You guys are crazy. Thank you so much for all the support recently. We are working on the first Chet video, which hopefully will be out this weekend. Things have been really insane. You guys have been so wonderful to me, and I really, really appreciate it. It's it's really, really appreciated. So there's a lot of fun to come, but we will need to go and get some new Chets. Yeah, no, Tyler, you... You knocked that one out of the park, man. That was... What a... What a video, man. What a freaking video. Nope, that's not where we go. That's fine. We go here. Oh, actually, wait, no. Let's go to that, uh, that stupid old man, Kurt. Give me the Pokeballs, man. Are you kidding me? Come on. Don't be stingy. I'll take your thing. Okay. You. There we go. Perfect. Oh, wait. You know, Tyler is VIP. Yeah. No, uh, no. I, of course my editor would be VIP. I mean, it'd be like really like <laughs> on some sort of like, I, I don't know. It'd be very weird if I hadn't VIP'd him. If you mean the other, the other Tyler. So I one thing that I never want to do is accidentally like set some standard that gets people to try like i don't want to try to get people to donate a lot of money um if someone has the funds and it really really wants to support and wants to support financially that means the world and i'll always appreciate it but i don't want to be like okay if you know like guys like if you do this like you can get vip in the past i'm pretty sure i had a thing with vip at a certain amount of bits or subs people would get vip because it was asked for but now that i'm a bigger creator it's it's not something that i really want to have as like a a, a big part of the channel because i just i don't know i i don't i don't want to accidentally like create a like an unhealthy environment where people feel like the the way I don't know I I just I just don't want to accidentally do anything to I I don't know like in a way like feel like I'm t you know taking people's money like if someone wants to do it just because they really want to do it I appreciate the world but I don't want to I want it to I want that to be the reason people support if that makes sense <laughs> no love gaming <laughs> hey. Extra funds going to charity is what it, maybe the best thing you can do with extra funds. Uh, there is no need to worry about supporting me with extra funds. You are a one. That is that's just a wonderful thing. A wonderful thing. You literally sell out the prime sub all the time. Well, so normally I would ignore something like that, but I guess what do you write? I sell out prime subscriptions because the whole thing with prime subscriptions is because you don't spend any money. It's if you already have Amazon Prime, because you like to have things delivered at your house quickly, then you can actually subscribe without spending any extra money. So I plug Amazon Prime or Twitch Prime subscriptions all the time because that is the one way beyond watching advertisements that people can support me monetarily without spending any extra money. I mean, that's exactly what I was just saying. Like. It goes exactly with the point I was just making. So I'm very confused. I'm not like, go purchase Amazon Prime and then subscribe to me. That would 
That would be crazy. I hope that is not what's coming across. But way more importantly, we struck out earlier. Those 100 bits, we're snagging those and we're infusing them into the toted aisle to get the guaranteed shiny here. Reroll, 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 reroll. Is it only Rattatas here or is there something else? Are there any other encounters in the bell tower? Let me look up. Bell Tower Cerebi. Um, it is literally just Rattata. Hmm. Unless it's nighttime, it is just Rattata. That is crazy. <laughs> Wait, can I get to the ho -Oh right now? Chat, can I can I get to the ho -Oh? Because if I get to the ho -Oh, is it worth just living on a prayer? And <laughs> <laughs> seeing if we can get a shiny what do you mean back up back up i say get a backup oh backup well so the thing is i feel like at this point i feel like it kind of is breaking the rules of like the the whole point of a dupes is i can like re-roll the encounter but re-rolling the encounter until it's shiny does not feel like the right use of that rule i know we did that in the first run but i feel like at this point I, I feel like it would be better to wait for either the Ghastly to try to get a chance at Ghastly or to go for the ho -Oh. It is literally a Rattata, but that's also the thing. I guess that would be the other thing. If it's only a Rattata, then do we need to get the Rattata? It's like the... I'm not that guy. Want to know who is that guy? Chet. Okay? Chet is. And you know what? I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm going to run right into uh, this grass. And not only am I going to get a full odds encounter. That, no, that's it. I would just get a full odds encounter. Nah, I'm just, that's the goal. Full odds. Nope, let's do this. Let's do this. Where is it? Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me my shiny Tangela. It's going to be great. Everyone's waiting for it. Here it is. We got Total in front. Max revive. We can sell that for cold hard cash. Come on. This is it. This is my destiny. This is what we've been waiting for right here, right now. You son of a come on. I just want a new Pokemon, man. Oh. God, come on, dude. <laughs> you kidding me? I really am not that guy. I really am not, jeez. I'm not that guy. Whatever, we're gonna get a shiny swine up. We're gonna get a shiny swine up, that's all that matters. Let's just go get a shiny swine up. Let's prove the world wrong. Let's just go do that. I right, one, two, three, four, I declare. Shiny swine up is cool. Five, six, seven, eight. Like, please, I like really want the swine up. It'd be cool. Oh, chat, we haven't talked about it. New Pokemon Snap DLC, and I have internet this time. So I am absolutely gonna do an all day stream when that drops, trying to get like the highest score I possibly can on like the new maps. And it's actually really cool because at this point, like the, the VODs channel has become like an actual like thing. So, you know, I, I feel like I can, you know, stream the, the new Pokemon Snap, one of my favorite games that's ever, like, come out. And, you know, even if I don't make, like, a main channel video out of it or a Pokemon 7 video out of it, I can still live on the VOD channel 
And uh, I'm actually really good at new Pokemon Snap. I got a lot of top 50 scores in the first like week. I stopped playing it because like I had really, really frustrating internet issues, which really sucked. Um, Please just kill off the Totodile. There we go, perfect. Uh, but I really, really love the game and I cannot wait for the DLC. What really killed me is I was so excited to stream that game and just losing the ability to stream Pokemon Snap, like really, really, I don't know. It kind of just cut my uh, enjoyment of the game a little bit shorter than I wanted. But uh, I'm really excited. When do I do Reddit reviews? I did it yesterday, actually. Exclamation point Reddit. Hey guys, the more uh, the more content you guys put on the Reddit reviews, the more often I will review it and uh, the more often like we can do meme review stuff. Right now, just being quite honest, usually there's almost like no content there. So that series is 100% dependent on you guys. But. <sighs> A lot of you guys have asked me, what shiny do I want? And I've said a few different things, but I've been hiding what I truly want and need on the squad. And that is shiny swine up. I want the shiny swine up. I need the shiny swine up. Give me the damn it, you stupid jinx. Come on, come on. Why? That's what I wanted. I wanted that little guy, but green. I wanted him green. And then he'd evolve into a yellow guy and then he'd be my friend. And then, come on, and that's the, but it's like a bad dream. It's a bad dream. It just keeps happening. Oh, I'm never going to get a new shiny. This is uh, this is my hell. Okay, well. <sighs> well, you win some, you lose some. Catch it for Chet City. Fizzy, you're on to something. You're on to something, Fizzy. You are on to something. Wow, that's the mistake we made with the crab. We made that mistake with the crab and I won't make it again. I won't make the same mistake. This is where we get our insurance policy, right here. I don't think this could kill and endure. You strongly, no! Chetting, what is wrong with you? I mean, no, Chetting is is banned from that. What, nope, we, will, we need to find a new one. God, Chetting, you, you horrible, horrible. Ball of pollution. It's okay. There's plenty of fish in the sea. There it is. The F was, it was too late. It was way too late. We found another one. Let's catch this. Friend ball. It's the perfect Pokeball for the perfect Pokemon. This is our key to success. Yep, this is great. Yep. Yep. Chet Nub. Mayor of Chet City. We gotta go make sure we put him in. We gotta make sure we go put him in. We can't let anyone think otherwise, right? I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea of what's going on here. Chet, we're gonna just put you in Chet City. Which is very important. Now we have the mayor of Chet City to go along with Sun Chet. Now, a hey, thank you so much for the raid. Let me know what was going on in the stream. I'm actually very curious. I don't know if, I don't know if I've had the pleasure of meeting uh, Wacko at any point. So let me know what was going on. I'm very curious for anyone coming over here. Yes, this is a hardcore Nuzlocke. Yes, we are only using shiny Pokemon and yes, it is Nuzlocke Encounter. So if my Nuzlocke Encounter is not shiny, I can't use it. And yes, every Pokemon is named Chet. I <laughs> feel free to ask any other questions, but I don't know if I will <laughs> give any good answers. <laughs> I think a raid signals a pack is due. I don't think that's what that means, Sammy, but you know that I am a weak, weak man and I will be opening up a pack of cards now. You gave me an excuse to open up a pack of cards. So we're opening up a pack of cards and I will get an alternate art and it's gonna be great. 
And then we will always remember the day we got this raid because it gave me the card of my dreams. This is what I love to see. It's also a code card that guarantees something cool. So now it just feels like this is destiny. This feels like my destiny. We're going to open the card. We're going to get shiny cardboard and everyone's going to be hyped. That's incredible art. This set is really cool, man. Oh, I actually kind of like that art too. Salandit, another clay figure one. Bronzong, just frolicking in a meadow. Cacnea, I don't like that look. That's scary. Spoink in the, the sunlight. Well, I guess those stars, that was nighttime. Don't listen to me. I didn't say anything stupid, I promise. Cubone and... Cricketune. <laughs> Who gave Cricketune a V card? What do you mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> How? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you even mean, man? <laughs> That's so chaotic. Hey, Wacko, man, you didn't need to do that. A raid was more than enough. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate that. Hey. Hey. I appreciate that, man. You know, I... I that cricket tune, that was absolutely the raid. That was all you. You know what? I'm just going to pretend and assume that's that's what you wanted to see. You're like, you know what? We're coming in. This man, he's pulling a Cricketune V. The strongest Pokemon card ever created. <laughs> this is our big moment. How many deaths have I had? I think maybe only two. Haven't had too many. Why would you? I mean, hey, I'm not in charge of making the cards. That's for sure. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's keep on keeping on. Also, if I've missed Wacko, um, talking about what was going on, someone please, uh, make sure you throw that back at me, because I am very curious. Reminiscent Edge, thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate the heck out of ya. I, I think actually when we're grinding up for Claire too, maybe we will do a nicey cave this time, because the last time was very brutal. And I did not appreciate it one bit. Will I evolve Polly into a Poliwrath? I'm going to do a Poliwrath. Politoed is my favorite of the two, but I think getting the fighting typing would help the team out a lot more than just another water type. So that's how that works. Is the Chet thing every attempt or just this attempt? Uh, Chet started as just, a, oh, this will be like a goofy one-time joke, but it turned into a way of life. So this will be Chet and it probably till the, the day I die. As long as I'm still doing this run. But no, Chet is, is pretty much everything at this point. Chet is truly everything. Make it Politoed for the frog culture. I mean, hey, Polyrath's still a frog. He's just a, he's a frog that punches people. I mean, sometimes you need a frog that punches people, right? You know, it's, you know. You need a powerful one. Okay. Let me just throw that there and let's keep on keeping on. Get our way out of here. Chet Toad is something we need to happen. It might happen. You never know. All right. All right. All right. All right. Got to do this a little bit of a... Uh, it's not really even a puzzle. Just like slightly annoying. <laughs> just slightly frustrating. Um, just see. Well, actually, while I'm distracted, let me check out one thing real quick, like real quick, like because I can. All right, boom, cool, awesome. Okay. Why does someone keep saying Polyroth is not a cow? Did I call it a cow? Am I losing my mind? Am I going insane? I mean, there's a real chance of that. That's like always on the table. That is always on the table. Let me tell you. Can't wait for your Hoenn Pokemon. You can beat up video. <laughs> I, I'm glad people enjoy those as much as, uh, as I enjoy making them. They're pretty fun. Uh, it's it's a lot different than anything I do, but there's something uh, there's something satisfying about sitting down and just <laughs> angering the internet with all of the Pokemon you're saying you could beat up. 
<laughs> While no one can really... I mean, they can try and disagree, but they're never going to come up with a actual proof that I'm wrong. It's, it's, it's pretty incredible. What Pokemon is most equal to me in a fight? Oh god, I don't I have no idea. What Pokemon is most equal to me in a fight? Like actually? I don't know. That is a very That is a wild it's a good question, but it's a wild question to to think on. I don't know. Most even. Uh Wait, which way do I go this way? Machamp. <laughs> Crowdon? Yeah, you guys get it. You guys get it. <laughs> oh, man. What's my favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon is Mamoswine. Which is why not getting the swine up is upsetting. Tyrogue? Yeah, I'm not losing a fight to Tyrogue. Are you kidding me? Got, uh, got free weights to work out at home now? Use them twice? I'm unstoppable. Tyrogue is not... Tyrogue's got nothing on me. I hit you the, the gym twice. I'm unstoppable now. <laughs> I definitely am going to include that in the video, too. Of just, no, I'm even, <laughs> I'm even stronger. And see if people. That is one thing that is very funny with those. People get really upset with these hypothetical things. Speaking of that. I got, a, I got another fun Pokemon hypothetical for the Pokemon 7 channel on the way soon. And honestly, I think it's going to be the, the greatest one yet by like a big margin too. And that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, oh, crap. Okay, just no. Stop it. Okay. Oh no, I had it, and then I've lost it, then I got it. It's very easy. Okay, cool. Is there a Pokemon you want to punt the furthest? Oh, absolutely, Chingling. No! I'm not teaching any of these Pokemon. Wait, I could get rid of Rock Smash, though. I could teach Rock Smash to a Pokemon and immediately get rid of it. Uh, but who has a move that I don't need? That's actually a big thing. Okay, let's see. Um... You can go around? Oh, cool. Nice. And the chat was getting quite uh, quite feisty on that one. I feel like I was really about to goof up. <laughs> oh, Nevermelt Ice is actually helpful. Cool. We can actually probably throw the, uh, the Nevermelt Ice onto Gyarados because we need that as we go against the dragon person. And then we take the Mystic Water and then we give it to the frog because the frog loves water. He's splishing and splashing. Oh, this is great. This is great. What Pokemon do you think would do best on the SIT? Isn't like uh, Alakazam like a super genius? Do you really believe this is the run for the family? I'm really, really confident in this run. I mean, I think the only reason we lost last time is because I didn't know there was a, a point in the game before the Elite Four where you couldn't heal before battles. That caught me as unaware as possible. Uh, but I, I really do feel good about this one. I would have liked to have a little bit more variety in like the team to really pick and choose before especially the elite four but i think this is going to be great and do we teach avalanche no we don't teach avalanche over ice fang sing a song and do a dance for us john you're not even a sub you're an unsub person trying to make me do a song and dance uh, dance streamer man dance is that what you're saying come on come on come on <laughs> yeah, you, you've just come into my work and you're just yelling at me. Dance, man, dance. Like, come on. It's not even what I do for work. You're just yelling at me just to yell at me. I hate this. I hate it here. <laughs> come on. Okay. Chet song? I, 
I can't sing a song about Chet until Chet is in the history books for what, what Chet has accomplished in the Elite Four. I feel like if you start making songs too early about Chet, about what Chet has accomplished, I, that could be really tough. Also, I've heard a song by a Chet and it was very inappropriate and it's, it's kind of upsetting if we're going to be honest. So I'd, I'm a little worried, right? But thank you very much for the sub. I really appreciate it. You guys have been unbelievably supportive today. And it really does mean the world. But chats, chats, here we are. The final city before the final gym. This is going to be a tough one. Last time we went against Claire, it was very, very scary. The Gyarados will be able to help us in a really, really big way. But we do have to make sure we have the perfect team to go against Claire. So you know what? Let's go and see if we can get another encounter or two. Because even if it's weak, we are not going to mess around. I would rather grind for an hour than just absolutely fumble the bag at the final gym. So you know what? Let's go over here. Route 45. What is this? Dark Cave, already got something there. Shiny Fampy, this is your moment. We need you. Reroll, reroll, reroll. Wee whoop, wee whoop. Come on. Fampy, you know you want to shine. You know you do. Okay, reroll. That's fine. That's, that's, that actually, that's fine. That doesn't matter at all. Okay, what is not going to be scared of the boom? Probably you. Let's just put you there because I'm a little worried now. Okay, I really do not like what's going on here, but let's just kill it so we're not worried. We do not need Rain Dance. Okay. It's gonna go boom. No, I've no, no. Reroll. It's gonna boom. Reroll. It's gonna boom. Nope. It's gonna boom. Nope. 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 Gonna blow up. Nope. Reroll. 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 Dupes. Nope, I'm not, I'm not falling. Nope, I'm not falling for that. Okay, I'm, there's no way I'm going to get another shiny after this. This is crazy, but I have, I have committed to this. So I'm going to just keep doing this. Come on, Famfy. <coughs> I mean, at least we can like train up Gyarados a bit. So there's that. I would have been so hyped for a shiny Gligar, man. I would have been so hyped. That hurts. That one genuinely hurts. We found, like, what was it? Three shinies in a row? Man. We have not found a single shiny encounter today, and it is really worrying me. This is not where we want the luck to go away. <sighs> okay. Come on! Do I just catch this? Do I just say screw it? Do we just catch this? I we've we've been so unlucky with shinies. I just catch this, right? Yeah, we need a backup Gyarados. Back up Gyarados. Back up Gyarados? I think we back up Gyarados this. What are the other... Oh, that's cool. That's a good call. What are the other options? Blackthorn. City. Let's, let's just see. Let's just see. Let's do our research. Um... Oh! Oh, it's literally... It's literally just... Magikarp or Poliwag. Oh. Yeah. No, this is best case scenario. Yeah, we're absolutely going to catch this. Yeah, no, that's... It's just double dupes. I'm not going to get two shiny frogs when we could guarantee a second shiny Gyarados. This is perfect. This is a really good insurance policy. And I have half a mind to train this up and use it in the gym. Because... Two Gyaradoses could defeat Claire on its own. And that might be worth it. 
I think we got to get the right nickname and then really think about this because I think it might be worth it. We could get through Claire without losing a Pokemon and that could be huge. Is this Chet Dose? Do we name this one Chet Dose? Or Cheta Dose? Oh, Cheta Dose is so fire. Yeah, that's easy. Cheta Dose. Hmm. Just, just Cheta Dose. Two? Okay, two. Cheta Dose, two. Yep. Easy, and then we do not need the Totodile anymore because the Totodile has, you know, ruined my life. And, even better with all of this, we will open a pack, don't worry, but... You, not great in the gym. You could get o code by two of the Pokemon. You, though, give us a full team of six where I am confident that these Pokemon can actually do things that are good. Let's look at the nature. I think Naivi's less, like, plus special attack. Oh, plus speed! That is fine. I am absolutely fine with that. So we are going to put... Uh, we'll, well, yeah, we'll put the, the Stantler first. We'll put, yeah, we'll put Chetting first. We'll put you down there. Let's put the uh, experience share on you, and then we will open a pack. All right, this feels pretty solid so far. We're going to have to do a decent amount of grinding right now, but that's fine. It, that's not a big deal. We are ripping through these packs, but that's fine. It's, uh... It's what my card addiction would want from me. I desperately want to get... I desperately want to pull one of my chase cards. You know? I really... I don't, I've not been the luckiest with the packs. Like, Shining Fates has given the illusion that I've gotten lucky just because, like, every other pack's gonna have at least a Shiny. But, uh... The other things we've opened have been very meh. And then the one time we did get lucky was off camera and the booster box was between me and Mitt and Nikki and she was the one that got the good pulls. Oh god, that was scary. Jesus, when did you get home? I texted you when I was Sweetie, I'm streaming. I don't look at my phone. I don't know how else. No, that's fair. That's not on you. A lot of the art in this set is really good. I know there's not going to be a rare card. That's why I haven't been... Yeah, I I need to be better at, like, at least feigning that there could be a good card for your sake. But we're going to open up a pack for Nikki. Yeah, this is pack. This is how lucky Nikki is. The Nikki Lock Pack. This pack is going to have the rarest card in this booster box. This pack will tell us how my next rotation will be. This is, this is it. Nikki, guaranteed. One, two, three, four... All right, Nikki. Energy recycle. Some all right, random cards no one cares about. I like Girder. You Okay. What about Cubone? I like Cubone, too. Okay. I don't care about Ponyard. Sure. Oh, it looks so... He's so good. He's I do love so that. Thin. Shinx. Shinx is great. Gligar. Spupa. And... Hey! Oh, you did do it. Ginger, you did, Ginger, you did it. Everyone did it. Yay! Yay! Wow, she's really excited right now. Look at that. Awesome. I made friends. Ah. <laughs> Hi, Jinji. Oh, so she can actually spend some time in baby jail. Because she's had a lot of fun today. Because, I mean, this is a big stream, Nikki. I don't know if you know this. But the family is close to... Reaching the mountaintop. Whoa. Destiny, Nikki. Look at this. Look at this, huh? Seven gym badges. We're on the cusp of eight. Wow. And the Elite Four, I think, tomorrow. A big stream. Family versus the Elite Four. I'm excited. That is very exciting. It's very exciting. Good luck. Thank you. Ginger wanted to give you all her luck. And Ginger's really great at that. And she says puppy luck. We do like puppy luck. Bye, Nikki. Bye, Ginger. Bye, Bye. puppy luck. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Absolutely. All right, chat. It is time to grind the team up to level, probably level 40. Then we'll battle the uh, the gym trainers. But chat, this is the part of the stream where things slow down because I need to grind up the team. It's a hardcore Nuzlocke. 
I can't be stupid about this. I have to take this seriously. So I apologize that this will go a little slower, but if you have any questions, anything you want to talk about, anything that is interesting to you, this is the time to throw it out there as I am going to be grinding up the team. Just do it. You get it. We got to run away from the Gravelers because they could ruin everything. And there is a real chance at this point we could find a full odd shiny as we are just running around aimlessly. And also, if you are someone who's like, ah, oh, this grinding part, that's not going to be fun. I do not blame you. I would not blame you in the slightest if you took a break from the stream. But I'm telling you, there's going to be some fun to be had after we beat this gym and get ready for the Elite Four. So make sure you tune back in because you will not want to miss that. Trust me. And there it is. Gyarados number two, Chetados on the squad. Hey, the beauty of dupes sometimes is if the only things you can catch are duplicates, I'm not saying no to a second Gyarados. I'm not gonna say no. And I'm feeling pretty good about this guy. I'm feeling pretty good about this guy. Let's uh, teach this guy waterfall immediately. And we'll be good to go. Uh, have you ever played Dungeons and Dragons? No, I do not play Dungeons and Dragons. My buddy in high school asked me to play, and I always said no. Um, I probably would enjoy it, though. It was probably dumb to say no. I mean, honestly, I probably just said no, like, solely off of, like, the reputation it has and being a high schooler and, and you know... I mean, come on. Eh. High school is dumb and everyone's worried about perception and all these things. And I am not a. <laughs> I was definitely not above worrying about that stuff, even when it was silly. So I've never played, but uh, I'm very confident I would enjoy it. So maybe someday I'll uh, give it a chance. I'm currently shiny hunting for shiny Venona and let's go. And I've already had to reset because of a shiny Charizard. Ooh, I hope you caught the shiny Charizard. Charizard is just one of the cooler shinies. But uh, what should I nickname it when you catch it? I'm not the best with nicknames like that. Like the pressure on that, I don't know. I mean, at this point, I would just say name it something after Chet. You know, with, come on with what's gone on. But if it's not like Chetanat or something like Venochat, <laughs> I don't really have a good idea for you right now. But if you're a, a part of the family and you understand, definitely chat. Discord for a quick laugh. Jeez. What a chaotic trade proposition. I cannot wait for the NBA draft tonight. That is going to be chaos and so much fun. My God. If Platinum is your favorite region, why are there so many Pokemon that you dislike in that region? Um... I think it's a, uh, you know, kind of easy to answer that. I don't really think a Pokemon game like is good or bad simply by the new Pokemon added to it. I love Platinum for a lot of reasons, but realistically, the team of six I was able to use most times was enough for me, right? Like, I didn't need to enjoy all of the Pokemon. I think Shink Shinx is maybe the coolest early route Pokemon of all time. Like, I love that. Star Raptor is the best, like, you know, early route bird Pokemon. So already, you're knocking two of the Pokemon out of the park. I absolutely love using Infernape. That's an awesome Pokemon. So now you have three. I love the fourth gen evolutions. There's so many of those that are good. Like, so many of them. I mean, Mamoswine's my favorite Pokemon of all time. So almost all of the evolutions I truly love. Lucario's really sick. Garchomp is unbelievably good. I mean, I, you know, there's just a lot of cool Pokemon to really like. Um, and there's also, like, there's so many cool things in the game. Poke Radar hunting is the, the best way to define shinies with increased odds. I love that there's skill involved with shiny hunting with the Poke Radar method. So that was always really fun to me. I think the underground is really, really cool and very fun. Uh, I really love the post game in Platinum. I think that was a really cool touch. Uh, I, there's just like a lot of little things like that that I really, really enjoy in Platinum. 
And he thought, oh, I don't really care too much about uh, college football, so I don't really have any thoughts on, on that. I wish I did, for your sake, just to throw out something, but I, I don't really have too many thoughts, honestly, on it. 70 re or 70k resets for Lugia? Oh my god. All the luck in the world to you, Logan. I really hope you find a shiny soon. That is... Boy, that is tough. That is very tough. Oh, I'm incredibly excited for the fourth gen remakes. I'm a pretty easy to please, like, Pokemon fan. And really, for most things I like, I, I'm not really super critical. I don't know, life's too short, right? Like, I, Pokemon is fun, man. I don't think I've ever played a Pokemon game where I've just not enjoyed myself. Now, sure, there's things I dislike about certain Pokemon games, but Pokemon's a lot of fun, <laughs> you know? Being able to play the fourth gen games on my Switch is going to be fun. Being able to do the underground stuff, like playing Capture the Flag underground with friends in the fourth gen remakes is going to be a blast. You know, I, I think it's going to be sick. I don't know. It'll be fun. I think you need to accept messages from your friends. I don't. I'm very confused of that. I don't. I don't know what you're saying. I'll be honest. The only. Oh my God. I. I hate how real that message is. The only work I'm super critical of is my own. <laughs> I. I feel that so much. Jeez. I. I feel. I fully feel that. Boy, <laughs> I have never played any Digimon game. No, my uncle really, my uncle, gee, why did I say uncle? My cousin. Well, I guess your uncle and aunt, their kids would be your cousin. So I guess that's related, but my older cousin <laughs> really enjoyed Digimon and like the Digimon game. So I watched him play a few, but I've never played any myself. Um, But I'm sure it'd be fun. And I appreciate the 100 bits for the family. Thank you. Thank you very much. I didn't really care a ton about the Battle Frontier stuff. That was never really like my favorite thing growing up with Pokemon. So I haven't really done a ton of it. I wish I had a better answer, but I, I don't really. Did you want games can be hard to get into depending on the game? Not the best endorsement, like, it, you know, that is not the, what I like to hear about a, a game. It's like, it's like with shows, if anyone's like, ah, it takes a few seasons to get into it. I'm not watching your show. <laughs> what a, what a bad recommendation. Like, ah, you might dislike the first two seasons, but I promise. <laughs> Unless it's like, you can skip them and it doesn't affect anything, I'm good. But like, man, it's tough. Like some of the, you know, the Gen uh, 7 Pokemon games, it's such a tough sell to be like, I, the first like few hours of the game are really boring and slow because of cutscenes, but after that, it's a wonderful game, which I think is the truth. I think that I think Gen Seven might honestly be Ultra Sun and Moon may be the best Pokemon games of all time. It's just if you can take out the cutscenes, right? Like they're so hard to replay, but the first time playing Pokemon Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon, oh, it's it's a fantastic game. It's just so hard to replay them. But they're really great games, I'm telling you. They're, I Honestly, I should do more content in the Gen 7 games. Because you know what? I can always just, you know, in the actual video, cut out all the, the cutscene stuff. And in the stream, just like answer questions or talk about whatever is on, you know, our mind in the cutscene stuff. But, man, it could be tough. If you could skip the cutscenes, that would be amazing. Have you done any competitive stuff? I joined the Pokemon community solely because of competitive content. Uh, I was a big time Pokemon, like singles competitive player for a very, very long time. I was not nearly as popular as I am now as a content creator. So most people that watch me are not aware of that back ground for me, but uh, I've done more competitive Pokemon on YouTube than I have of like Let's Plays or any of the stuff I do now. And honestly, I am, of all of the stuff I've done at with Pokemon, I think my skills come from Creative Ideas 1, Competitive Pokemon 2, and I don't think anything's even close behind that. Like, I was a really good battler. Really, really good. It did literally nothing for me. <laughs> it did nothing for me. Except really frustrating me, <laughs> losing very important close games to, like, a min-max roll or hacks, but, you know. 
Yeah, the competitive background, my first competitive battle I ever did, I was getting crushed. And I think I was down like five Pokemon to one. And my last Pokemon was Mamoswine and swept the end of the battle. And then, um, somebody called Vol Wolfie VGC has got a new opponent. I apparently you didn't know this. Yeah, at one point, Wolfie VGC in singles draft league called me my dra his draft league rival. He then went on to crush me battle after battle, slowly squeezing the competitive love out of my body until I no longer play competitive. No, <laughs> but at one point, Wolfie did consider me his singles draft league rival. We uh, we battled in one of the. I think the WBE season one or two, I was the, the number one player in that league. Uh, I had the best regular season. I made my way to the finals, had beaten Wolfie in the regular season. And then he beat me on the rematch in the finals. And after that, my God, that man was off to the races. But before he beat me there, I nobody would have, you know, no one was saying that Wolfie was better than me at singles because he was a VGC player. Um... It didn't last long. He beat me, and then I should have beat him the next time. I made one misplay, and he reverse swept me. That was really tough. Then the next time we battled, I probably would have won, but I missed four important moves in a row. <laughs> so me and Wolfie against each other, it went, you know, I beat him. He beat me in the finals. I should have beaten him, but one misplay cost me the game. Like, I should have 6-0'd the man. One misplay cost me the game. The next battle, <laughs> he beat me after I missed four times. And then I'm pretty sure he just crushed me every battle after that. Like, I had a brief moment of possibly, you know, getting a little bit of revenge and proving, no, I can still hang. I can still hang with Wolfie. And then he just... He ascended to a new level. He's one of the, I think, in my mind, he's the greatest Pokemon battler of all time. An even sweeter man. Like, he's just a wonderful guy. I've really loved getting to talk to him. It's I'm sad because, because I don't do competitive anymore. I haven't talked to him really since. And he's a really wonderful guy. But, uh, yeah, no. At one point, yeah, me and Wolfie would battle and... At one point, it was not shocking if I could beat him in a battle. And I will say, I think... Oh, Nick said something. I want to respond to him. Oh, he's talking... Okay, yeah. Me, Wolfie, Handshake, me, beating John in the finals. I shouldn't have read... I hate that. I Why? Why? Don't don't read what Nick posts. It's just going to hurt your feelings. <laughs> God damn it, Nick. Uh, <laughs> but um, I think one of the coolest things that's ever happened to me uh, as a fan of Pokemon is I got to live like a real-life Pokemon dream and battle a world champion, like Pokemon battler. I got to actually battle him and go toe to toe. Uh, I beat him one time and then got to go against a world champion Pokemon battler in a championship setting. And that is one of the coolest things that I, I really think could happen to a Pokemon fan. So just shout out to Wolfie in general. Very wonderful guy. Uh, which of you, the three Lord of the Rings films is your favorite? I like Sneaky. I think two is my favorite. A lot of people say that's their least favorite, but what is it? The, the battle at Helm's Deep? My God, I just I really, really love that battle so much. It always sticks out in my mind and I, I, everything with the ends is so fun. I, Helm's Deep, it's so good, man. Ugh. I, I really love it. The one with the big trees is my favorite. Okay, apparently we're all on the same page. This is what I like to hear. Oh my god, everyone, everyone is... I love this, yes! Wow. Man, oh man. It, it, at some point, if I ever get to the... If I ever get to a point of streaming where I have enough people willing to watch me play whatever, if that ever happens, I will be streaming... Um, What are the Lord of the Rings games, Nick? Uh... Uh something uh, oh crap what are they called i've played both of them i love both of them so much they're just slipping my mind because i haven't played them in like a year what are they called shadow of mordor shadow of mordor there it is hit my mind finally Jeez, there it is shadow of mordor is so fun dude that game is sick it is so fun 
not smart for me to stream those at all. So far away from Pokemon, but I love them. Thoughts on the Lord of the Rings uh, Amazon series? They said they put a million or a billion dollars into it. I would be shocked if they're not good. I feel like there is such a tiny chance that I will like, I feel like I will enjoy those games almost for sure. Will hardcore Lord of the Rings fans like them? I would, I'd be shocked. I feel like the, the hardcore community is like really going to hate them for one reason or the other, but I am pretty easy to please with things that I enjoy. And I think I will very much love it. Have you and Mikey and Jack ever thought about doing a metronome nose lock together? Um, no, that's never been brought up, but I don't know. I mean, I'd, I'd never say never. I mean, today's video with Mikey and Jack was really, really fun to put together. It's difficult to get three people's schedules like all together, but I do want to try to do more bigger videos with like including more friends into it. So I don't know. We'll see. Have I tried Pokemon Unite on the Switch. Yeah, I'm actually loving the game. If we weren't in the middle of this series, I would have streamed it by now, but um, I don't know. I'm having so much fun with this series. I don't not every, you know, game I enjoy playing. I need to stream, you know, not everything I'm enjoying. I need to, to throw it up here. At the end of the day, right? The only reason this is my job is because I'm entertaining people. So it's it's not about just playing the games that I think are fun. It's about, you know, entertaining and the family is entertaining. Jack gets a lot of typings wrong, but he also has a, a Pokemon card background. So like when he sees like a Mankey card, right? It, it's the fighting symbol. But then also when he sees an Onyx card, it's a fighting symbol. So there's a lot of typings that Jack doesn't actually know. Um, And it's just because he was big into the cards. For some reason, Mikey fans are so weirdly cruel about it. There's like a, a section of like fans that are so angry towards Jack not having knowledge <laughs> on things. It is crazy. And it's like, I know it can be a little frustrating, but there is like, it's not like he's just like putting on an act or being stupid. He just, he used to be a competitive card player. You know, it, it's tough, right? Like. You got that fighting symbol at the top of the card for fighting rock and ground? Like, it's not his fault, man. Come on. No, I'm not saying Jack's a noob. I'm just saying he he, he used to, like, be a, a Pokemon. Like, he was a TCGO streamer full-time for, like, what, two or three years. Like, Jack didn't just start making content. He used to be a full-time Pokemon card streamer. Um... So like, it, it's not like, you know, he's certainly not a noob. He just focused on a different uh, part of the Pokemon game, which I think is cool. I also saw someone say, I'm going to call up Wolfie and have you guys battle again. I am a like retired competitive battler and he's a world champion. I'm pretty sure he would wipe the floor with me at this point. The point of talking about our, our past battles is, I think it's a cool thing to say, but it's not to say I could still beat Wolfie. No, it's to say at one point, I was good enough at battling to go toe to toe with the man in singles and take him on. And that time is long past. Maybe, maybe someday I get dragged out of retirement, but probably not anytime soon. Uh, what do you say to things like pay to win Absol and Pokemon Unite? I could not care less about the pay to win. That doesn't bother me at all. Uh, I mean... No, that doesn't bother me at all, honestly. I, I've i never liked what I've seen from like the MMO like fans, like at all. So I don't ever want to be too deep into like the, the weeds of a, or did I say MMO or MOBA? What, whatever you call League of Legends and like Pokemon Unite. The fan bases for those games are really, really toxic. From the outside looking in, I could be wrong, but like, I, I just, whatever, like, you know, big conversations are being had with the game. I just don't think I care. I just don't think I care. Thoughts on the whole Simone Biles situation going on. Uh, she is an unreal athlete. 
And mental health is absurdly important. And I, I mean, you know, to, to, to make it serious for a second, you know, you could really, uh, you could really boil down like the reason I do what I do to hopefully, you know, impact people in a good way and hopefully do a tiny part in helping, you know, kind of flip things like mental health wise. It's, I'm not doing any crazy work. I'm, you know, I know there's definitely bigger ways I could help and it's, you know, it's something I've thought more and more about of what I could do, but ideally when people watch what I, I do content wise, it hopefully can turn a, a bad day into a slightly better day or if people you know maybe someone's on a bad day and they can binge my videos like i in the past have binged other people's videos um your mental health is really 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 important to me and if i ever do a big charity stream on my own it will 100 percent be around something mental health wise whether it's we i don't know whether it's you know as far as like you know suicide prevention that's something really important to me or you know some you know, cause somewhere in between. That is the, the most important thing. Um, so yeah. So Simone Biles, like, you know, not competing and talking about putting her mental health first. Like I am all in on that. I'm like in like the, um, is it Osaka? I think she was a similar situation. I'm taking a step back for her mental health. And sometime recently, like I, I, I don't think mental health has, I don't think there's enough of an emphasis on that. And for some reason, people like don't treat athletes like they're humans at all. And <clears throat> if your mental health isn't there, that's as important as your health not being there, you know? So, yeah. Um, those are my thoughts. Michael Phelps took some time off and people praised him for it. <clears throat> I actually didn't really even know that, but like Simone Biles, how many gold medals has she won for the country, right? Like how much, like she's dominated the Olympics. She's dominated gymnastics. Like the fact that anyone would be upset with her not taking part in one event, like I don't know, it's just craziness. I don't know. Uh but that's, I mean, I think that's also a big thing, right? Uh, you know, mental health, it's still a thing that a lot of people don't understand. And it's very, very important to, uh, to hopefully keep kind of changing that. Because physical health is obviously incredibly important. But mental health is just as important. And everyone, especially after the pandemic, everyone's dealing with something. That's the same. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's I, the cancel culture stuff. I probably won't. I'm, I'm not going to delve too deep into that because that is such a that is such a difficult conversation. Like and it's like I feel like I feel like a streamer sitting here talking to chat. That's not really the right medium to talk about it. It's like cancel culture. It's it's like there's such a it's one term for this big umbrella and it's so tough to to compare some things that people, you know, get like canceled for who are doing like actual crimes and like will actually, you know, possibly face jail time for being horrible people. And then like Minecraft stands trying to cancel someone for some like very minor thing, right? Like it's like a very, like a very wide range of things. Like I've seen like freaking like comments of people like, pissed off at Jack and hating the man and like like someone so trying to like cancel him for being stupid or annoying in a Pokemon video it's like it's such a it's a difficult thing to talk about because it is such a it's almost lost its actual meaning because people throw it around for like so many different things so those are kind of my my thoughts on that um Hopefully I I threw that out right. This is why we need our podcast, John, pull the trigger. <laughs> I mean, honestly, at some point I wouldn't be shocked if I, I did some sort of a podcast. But we'll see. 
Uh, what did I get my degree in? I got my degree in MIS, Management Information Systems. Originally one for computer science, switched halfway through to like the business side of computer science just because I knew I was probably going to try doing this as a job. And if I was going to try to do this as a job, I should definitely get some sort of a background in business. What's my favorite evil team leader? I don't, I don't care about those things. So I... Unfortunately, I'm sorry. I don't have an answer. I know that's you know somewhat lame, but I just don't care a ton about that. Will we ever go back to uh, Pokey SMP? I'm not in charge of that, so I don't really know. Um, if if Pokey SMP was brought back, I would be shocked if I said no. Um. So yeah, I think that's my answer. I am not in charge in charge of whether or not it comes back. I have literally no. Well, I don't think I have no say. But I will not be deciding whether or not it comes back. And if it does come back, I'd probably be a part of it. Uh, Tom Brady MCL injury from last year. Do you think they brought it up to be a diva or is he not recovering right? I would say neither of those. I think if you bring up an injury that no one knew about after losing a championship, there's a possibility you could call someone a diva. But bringing up an injury after you won a championship that no one really thought was possible at an age that no one thought you could play at a high level at. I don't like that doesn't really do anything for you. Like Tom Brady playing at the level he did at 43 and winning a Super Bowl with the Tampa Bay Bucks in the manner they won in the Tampa home stadium is probably more impressive than the MCL stuff. So I don't think he brought that up to be a diva. I think he just actually is insane and played on a torn mcl and i feel like it's probably recovering fine like i don't i think if there was an issue with it i think they would stay quiet because they don't want anyone to know i think i think he just really actually tore his mcl and also i don't think it's brady that's trying to bring it up as much i'm pretty sure it's more was alex guerra guerra i don't know his name the guy that does the tb12 stuff with him i think that he was him more bringing it up to to bring more of a spotlight on himself and their business. Because I'm going to be honest, after I heard that, I'm like, okay, maybe I got to look into this TB12 stuff. This is insanity. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, they're on to something, man. Like, uh, what's going on over there? Uh, the, the Tampa defense really won the chip? No. It didn't. <laughs> The Bucks' offense was unstoppable, and then they put their foot off the gas. The Tampa defense were the stars of the show and dominated the Super Bowl. But this is not like the Patriots-Rams Super Bowl, where the Patriots' offense was just horrific. And was that was a really boring Super Bowl with neither offense could score. I mean, the Bucks' offense was unreal that first half. But what they did was less impressive than the defense. The defense held Mahomes without scoring a touchdown for the first time since he was in high school, maybe. And the defense was unreal all playoffs. But I feel like it's going too far saying they carried the defense because they didn't carry the defense. What was the final score of that game? Like the offense did their part. I think the offense scored 31 points or more in every single playoff game. That's so many points, man. That's so many. Like, I, like, man, people are, people are um, definitely, I like, and I was a part of it. Hey, I'm never going to try and get someone to like Tom Brady. He's a very easy and fun guy to root against. But if the score is 31 to 9 and the offense was, you know, scored 31 plus in every game. It's not that the defense carried the offense, but you can say the defense was more impressive than the offense, right? Carrying would mean like the offense let the team down, but the defense, you know, saved the game. That would be the 2002 Tampa Bay Bucks, and, you know, like that legendary defense, the offense let them down so many times. But that Super Bowl, no, the defense were the stars. The defense dominated the game but the offense did their job um so i mean that's just that's just how it is 
I am upset for you guys that the Patriots didn't like the fact that Tom Brady did not retire as a Patriot and then went and won a Super Bowl with the Tampa Bay Bucks, the lowly Bucks. I grew up in Massachusetts. The amount of Patriot fans who ridiculed me for what? 20 years about being a Bucks fan. The fact that Brady left the Patriots and went to the Bucks and won a Super Bowl is so funny. <laughs> it is very funny to me. I don't understand how they fumbled that bag. I don't I don't understand. I just just have the guy keep playing until he retires. Who cares? Who cares if you have one bad season? Like what what do you mean? Come on. Why did he become a Bucks fan? Um, I, uh, I, I was born in Arizona and my family is like, my parents were both from Maine. My dad was a Dolphins fan. My grandfather was a Giants fan. So really whatever team I was going to root for was just kind of up to me. And I just like pirates. So when I was like, like five, I had a pirates party themed party. And then I just picked the Buccaneers to be my favorite team. Cause I like pirates. Um, so arg. That is a signed Mike Allstott helmet. I've been a, a Bucks fan since I was five. So, significantly before Tom Brady was there. <laughs> significantly before then. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I am a giant Bucks fan. I am never, ever gonna sit here and, like, Lord, like Brady over the rest of the team. Like, I am, I can't even tell you how happy I am. Mike Evans and Levante David got a ring. But I'm also, you know, not gonna, not gonna hear these nonsense things about how the defense carried the Bucks to a Super Bowl because the NFL is ranking the Bucks secondary 32nd, you know, start the season. Nobody believed in the Bucks defense. Levante has made like one all pro in his career, one Pro Bowl. No one has given the Bucks defense any respect. So I'm not going to deal with this revisionist history. No one listened to me when I said the Bucks defense was really good. No one listened to me when I said Vita Vea coming back is going to change everything and that front seven is now going to be unstoppable. No, no, no. Now that, uh, you know, the team showed. And that defense was truly nasty. Now, I will, uh, I will hear praise being heaped upon them. I will not hear this revisionist of they carried. Because <laughs> that was not what people were saying. Levante, if Levante David doesn't make the Hall of Fame, I will, I, like, that is one, like, ugh, that's one guy I need to see in the Hall of Fame. I'm going to move past this topic really quickly because the the topic of why Levante David is the most underappreciated player in the NFL, I could spend a lot of time talking about it. But comparing, like, Patrick Willis, if you compare Patrick Willis's career to Levante David's career, Levante David was the better player. Levante David was the better player, and Patrick Willis has, like, significantly more all pros and Pro Bowls. It's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. Uh, is football anything like baseball where the pitching coaches and managers used to be players? Yeah, the, the team I root for, like, which I'm very happy about, the coach Bruce Arians, he was a player, and he has done an unbelievably good job of giving former players uh, a chance to coach. Like, the most diverse, like, coaching staff in the league. He's given, like, some of the first, like, women assistant coaches have jobs there it's been really wonderful a lot of ex-players a lot of people giving a chance like given a chance to succeed in that coaching staff which i love so some teams are not as great with that but the bucks a lot of former players which i love <laughs> andy reed at 13 that yeah that is something will i stream pokemon unite maybe at some point it is not high on my list of things to do. Because again, I mean, there what? There's so many people right now streaming Pokemon Unite. Like, how am I going to... Like, what am I going to do differently for Pokemon Unite to bring you guys, you know, entertainment? I'm pretty solid at Pokemon Unite. Like, I do a pretty good job when I play. But, you know, what am I really adding to that? 
Who do you think is the best active head coach and why? The best active head coach and why? I have a hard time not saying Andy Reid. He is a legendary offensive mind and he is... I mean, he has been at the top of the game as like a, an offensive mind for so long as the league has completely changed too. So I, he's he's really hard not to put there. I, ugh, I, I really love Bruce Arians. I think like Andy Reid, like Bruce Arians has been like, you know, he was like people called him the, the quarterback whisperer. Like he's been a part of a lot of great offenses, but at this point, that he's really good at just getting the most out of his players and a lot of coaching is just being able to talk to players and try to get the most out of them and what he was able to get out of Leonard Fournette from going to be like from going from a healthy scratch to having his best like football in the playoffs that was like 1 billion percent the way Arian spoke to that man which was phenomenal big fan I very much like a running back getting healthy scratches, deciding to go on a tear, and having a legendary postseason. That was sick. Mike Tomlin, hey, former Super Bowl winning uh, Buccaneer coach. Big fan. Mike Tomlin's amazing, too. He's definitely up there. Uh, I am a big fan of that. Do you like any other team uh, sports? I love basketball. I love playing basketball more than I love watching basketball. But that's because not because I dislike watching basketball. I just love playing much more. I play basketball today. Love basketball. There's also like, uh, there's also like, who is a great mind as a coach for the game and who is a great at dealing with players in the strategy? Yeah, no, that's very fair. There are a lot of great minds who are coaches. Yeah. Well, then there's, I mean, a lot of the guys from like the Patriot system who have tried to become coaches and they just completely, completely bungle it because they're like, I'm going to be really cruel to these grown men and treat them like children. Like, you have not. <laughs> You've done nothing <laughs> to earn their respect in that way. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? But also, Chad, I should throw this out. I love talking sports. I will talk sports. The Lakers trying to get Westbrook. That's crazy. I will talk sports until the sun goes down and then it comes back up again. Like, want to know what I did last? Well, you probably don't care. But what I did last weekend, uh, I had one of my best friends come down and we just played sports franchises on the xbox like the entire weekend and played basketball outside together it's a blast i love sports i slick might like sports more than i like pokemon man it's the the game's the game <laughs> but if you are like you know what i don't know about the sports talk right now throw out a different topic and if i uh if it catches my eye i'll jump on that too but that is just a little bit of a heads up. If you're like, I don't know if I like this combo, you can always change it with a little bit of a throwing something else out there. Yeet, thank you for the resub. Hello from the Netherlands. You were a great guy. You got me to pick someone. I love it now. Hey, I'm glad to hear that. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for the prime and thank you for the 100 bits, man. I appreciate it. If you were to be any two characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, good or bad, which two would you be? Oh God, what a question. Who would I be? I guess in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I'd have to like have their life too. Um, so I was gonna say Tony Stark. I mean, he's a billionaire. That'd just be kind of sick, but that didn't work well by the end of it. Um, hmm. Frogman, I'd say Frogman number one. Hmm. Who's got like a minimal responsibility, but like a ton of power? Maybe like Frogman and like maybe Frogman and Spider-Man. I think that's the that's the move. Minimal responsibility on the teenager. He's just living life, man. He just, one day he was a dork, and all of a sudden he's like, I am a superhero now. This is sick. This is awesome. That's pretty sweet. I, I know that's a saying, but like, it's not like the reality. Do you know how much better that is, too? 
just saying great power comes with great responsibility and then having significantly less responsibility than most people that would be awesome he's just in charge of one city i can take care of a city well he's certainly in shambles but he's a child yeah it's you know, it comes with the territory what are your thoughts on Gollum getting his own game I'd probably play it. I mean, it's not my like, favorite thing, but eh, it's probably fine. Doctor Strange has an absurd amount of responsibility. I think I'm running away from that, but Doctor Strange is pretty sweet. I'm very here for that. He doesn't have to, he just chooses to. That's a good call. That's very fair. What's your favorite Olympic sport? Well, I'm going to give you the lamest of lame answers. Probably basketball. <laughs> like the, the, <laughs> the most obvious answer I could possibly give you. <laughs> basketball. Okay. Ba -na 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 -na. Would you rather have a, be a Jedi or I would rather have superpowers. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I'd way rather have superpowers than be a Jedi. Oh my god. Who would want to be a Jedi? Are you kidding me? You guys see what was the third movie? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, give me superpowers. I'll just run super fast. Really sick. Harry Potter or Star Wars? Probably Harry Potter at this point. I really, really loved Harry Potter growing up and just the amount my fiance loves it, like... That's like enough for me. Like if you're ever around, like being around someone who like truly loves something is it, it, it really, it can rub off on you. It's very, I don't know. It's very wonderful. I have not seen Nikki's gift yet. No, I will. I will see it probably when I go down for dinner, but I got to make sure the family is ready to go. This next battle is going to be important. And speaking of that, let's open up a pack. What do we haven't done in a bit? We haven't opened up a pack. As soon as I say that, we start a hype train. Just feels correct. Just feels correct. Thank you so much, Angie. I appreciate you. Very, very much so. Coming up a pack of Ruski. We haven't gotten like a full art card or anything crazy yet. We've had a few V cards, which is pretty sweet. But uh, we haven't gotten anything too crazy. Bada bing. Bada boom. I actually love that art. Okay, that's amazing. <laughs> Roll a coli in a cave. I hate you. And you're solid. Sizzlipede. Glamiow. Scroll of swirls. Oh, Aegislash. Okay. I do love Aegislash. If I'm going to get a non hollow rare, I'll take Aegislash any day of the week. Also, chat, why did they give you code cards that tell you whether or not a card is rare? I genuinely hate that. Like, it. It just kind of ruins it, you know? It's like, I just, I feel so bitter when I open a pack. I'm like, oh, this one isn't rare. I'm like, that stinks. I don't like it. Is your caps lock stuck for Katie? It's always stuck. She speaks in caps lock. No way. Russ the Lakers is official? That's crazy. Really? Give me the details. Chat, you gotta update me on the trades. Come on. That's crazy. That is crazy. It's okay, Katie. They don't understand. Talking in caps is way more fun. So I I don't remember like why, but me and my roommate in college would always text in caps, and so many words we got auto-corrected to caps. And it was, it did get annoying after a while. Like I didn't need this word to be, you don't need to auto correct the caps random word, <laughs> but no, uh, come on. The talking caps is fun. Why am I not finding Pokemon shiny? Damn it. <laughs> and cool. Bow, bow. Stan chat, that's what I like to see from you. Only a few more Pokemon chat. I know we've been grinding for what feels like forever, but the family cannot take any days off, right? 
If I can't take a day off from working out, the family absolutely is not going to have to do that. I do not get any say in this. No siree. Ba -na 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 -na. Kyle Kuzma, Montrose Hale, Contavious Co Oh my god, what? They got Westbrook with that? Oh my god. That is absurd. Holy crap. I mean, those are th certainly three individuals that play basketball. And I'm sure the 22nd pick will be an NBA player as well. My god. I am really interested to see Russell Westbrook next to another guy like LeBron doesn't average a triple double, of course. He could. If he really, really wanted to. <laughs> Definitely could. But like Russell Westbrook next to another guy that can do that? Like. That's vi I really want to see what that looks like. That's really crazy. Huh. Wow. That's crazy, dude. Wow. Wow, our Lakers, wow. Wow. That is crazy. Dude, drafts are so much fun. I don't know if there's anything more fun than just sport doing any sort of draft. What a time. What a time. I thank you for the 450, man. I appreciate it, Dnom. I'm at the same spot in my Nuzlocke. Let's talk the strat you're doing here. What level you grind? Can what's the plan for Claire? Let's talk a little Pokemon. Go Bangles. Hey, man. I desperately want Burrow to be good. I'm all in on that. But I think that's a solid, uh, a solid question. Now we're going. The level cap's level 41, so we got to get everything to level 40. And right now we don't really have a big plan. Um, just past. Get the Pokemon to 40 and assess the situation because we do not have many options. And it's very clear we can't have Graveler because of the water moves. We don't want to use Poliwhirl if we don't have to because Poliwhirl is not evolved yet. What we really need is for the two Gyaradoses to carry here. Obviously, they are both going to have, um, unless I'm insane, yeah, they both have Intimidate, which is going to help immensely. Ice Fang is going to be super, super helpful. And then we just need to be able to throw bodies at the Kingdra. Kingdra is going to be very, very scary. So as long as we can take out the Kingdra, we should be good. Which also makes me kind of think maybe we should save these two for the Kingdra. Getting an electric move for the Gyarados could be really good. We don't have anything for that right now, which is a little bit worrying. But if we can just take out the other three Pokemon with these guys, I'd feel really good. Do the gym trainers real quick? No, I'm going to do those once we get everything to level 40. Because I think even after the gym trainers, we'll have to train up even a little bit. Chet merch or Chet emo? I'll probably never do Chet merch because I'm taking the uh, the merch I'm doing very seriously. Pokemon7.merchforall.com. Go check it out. I think the designs are really, really special. Um, but I really am... I really believe in the minimalist design that I have for Pokemon 7 merch over there, the seventh. I am thinking about making a minimalist, like, shiny design, something with, like, the shiny sparkles. So I'm, I'm trying to think on that. Because rather than just doing something that's so Chet specific, I feel like coming up with an idea that can work with Chet, you know, it's all about getting the shiny Pokemon and being more around like, you know, some minimalist design around shinies, I think would be cool. Are you allowed to talk about sports gambling on Twitch? I have no idea, but uh, I mean, I don't like, I don't really do any sports gambling, so I wouldn't really talk about it. So I wouldn't really... It wouldn't be something I'd talk much about. I really appreciate that, Cowboy Kermit. I mean, I'm really, really happy with how the merch turned out. The quality is incredible. The fact that it's all embroidered on is, like, I'm really, really proud of that. And I just, I really wanted to come up with merch that I would be excited to wear. Like, something I would want to, like, make an outfit around. And I've done that. So, you know, I think the next thing is really just, you know, continuing to work on it and hopefully uh, add more and more to the collection. 
Do I follow the NHL? I do not. But I do enjoy playing NHL games. That's fun. If Gligar was a shiny, what would, uh, what colors would she be? G uh, oh, Ginger. I was reading, I saw that in red Gligar. Ginger was shiny. Uh, probably pink. I think pink. The, I mean, it, the quality's really good. The sweatshirts are so comfy. Whenever it's like cold in the morning, just cause like the air conditioner might've been on all night. I always throw on one of the hoodies. They're really, like they're the perfect comfy hoodie of like not too heavy, not too light. Big fan. How many pieces of the merch do I own myself? I don't know how many, but five or six, probably. I still want to get a few more pieces, but I do have a lot. I absolutely have a lot. But chat, we're getting close to the end of the grinding. If you have anything else to throw at me question-wise, make sure to throw it at me. And hey, I'll buy some merch to celebrate the completion of this challenge. That's what I love to hear, wow. This is the run and this run leading the people understanding the merch is just great. I love it. New challenge idea, frog Pokemon only. Old challenge idea and we're doing it soon. Frog Pokemon only is going to be a stream series, hopefully gonna be a video. I have no idea how well that video would perform, but the goal is to try to beat Radical Red only using frog Pokemon and I think it'll be very fun. Why did you pick the, the symbol for your merch rather than what your profile picture is? Because I want my merch to stand alone. I would rather my merch, um, like I, I want it to stand alone and be its own thing, right? Like it can't be about Pokemon. You know, that would be illegal to try to sell Pokemon based merch. I know some people do it, but you're not supposed to do that. And I didn't want it to just be around Pokemon 7. I wanted to come up with something that's uh people could enjoy even if they don't watch my content i feel like that would give it more value right like i wanted it, i wanted it to be something that you know even someone who doesn't watch pokemon or doesn't watch me could be like wow this is pretty cool and possibly purchase it radical red is very difficult but again like you know it's i feel like my goofy nature hides it i used to be a competitive pokemon player very difficult rom hacks do not they're like they don't worry me the only time I've ever like been surprised by the difficulty of a, a playthrough was the, the Kaizo games. Um, and if I'm not doing a hardcore Nuzlocke, there's not going to be a single Pokemon game that's too difficult for me. Um, Frog only Radical Red might turn out to be like impossible, but we're gonna find out <laughs> and we're gonna have fun doing it. It's not going to be a Nuzlocke, of course. We're just going to see if I can actually beat the game with frogs. Are you grinding or trying to find a new shiny? We are unfortunately grinding. I wish I was trying to find a new shiny, but... No, this is part of the game in Heart Gold where you, you kind of have to grind. And I'm also just realizing that I'm kind of an idiot. God damn it, John. I mean, it's a little too late at this point, you dumb, dumb Dugan. And the, uh, the Bulbasaur line. Do not forget that for the frogs. A way better place to grind. I mean, full odd swine, it would have been awesome, but I probably would have just found, like, something I'd already found before. Does Bulbasaur count as a frog? Yeah, it's a toad. Yeah, I'm absolutely gonna use any frog or toad. It very much does. Yeah, what do you think Bulbasaur is? He hops about. What do you think it was based off of? No, we, uh, we frog lovers very much claim him. Don't, uh, don't get it wrong. The fact that we're gonna get out of this also, like, having trained up Gyarados almost all the way, big, big fan. I mean, like, don't you guys see it when you look at Bulbasaur and Venusaur? He's a frog. Venusaur hops like a frog and let's go. Yeah, well, because it's a frog. Uh, come on. He's a big old frog guy. He goes ribbit, ribbit, croak, croak. I think. I assume. I don't know. <laughs> Who's to really say? 
Is Wooper a frog? Roop, Wooper's like an, what is it, an axolotl? Is that what they call him? It's, yeah, or like a salamander, one of those two. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Okay. We are so close, chat. We are so close. We are almost there, and then we can go against Claire and make our next move. I know it's taken forever, and I'm sorry, but we're so close, chat. We are so close. Okay. Why are we in the cave? The cave is not as good. We just need to kill the Gravelers. There it is. Right on cue. Perfect. What is Impidimp? I have no idea. <laughs> that is a very random question. I have no idea. I will say, my hands are killing me. Honestly, chat, I... Let me know if I'm crazy, but I feel like... Even though today has been a, you know, a big grinding stream, not as uh, exciting. I think we saved the evolution battles for tomorrow along with the Elite Four. I think we put all of our eggs in the tomorrow basket and have tomorrow just be an absolutely crazy epic stream. We beat the gym today. We could even save the gym for tomorrow. I don't know. I, that might be a little too much. That might be a little too much. I mean, I don't know. We're definitely, we're definitely gonna make sure we take our time with the EVs. And you know, I, I, we do the gym today. No, we definitely do the gym today. We finish that off for sure. We do the gym today, but tomorrow I think we save save the evolutions and everything else. And we have uh, the Friday stream be an epic, crazy stream. And we will absolutely do the gym. I cannot give you guys a grinding stream like this and not do the gym. That would be too mean. Will I do post-game stuff? If we make it that far, we can have that discussion. But until I'm there, I don't want to jinx things and start talking too much. Okay. So close. There we go. The grinding is mostly over. We may have to do a little bit more after we go against the trainers. But at least we got everything to 40. We are going to save... I'm gonna go pee. I'll come back, open a pack because I'm hopefully, hopelessly addicted to opening the packs. We'll go against the gym trainers. We'll get everything up to level 41 and then we'll beat the gym. Because now the family goes in to get ready for the big gym battle. We got a few gym trainers ahead of us. Level 41, and then a really important gym battle. Bump, bana, bana, bump, 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 bump. I, this music's getting me hyped. I need to stop whistling because I know that's not fun on stream, but I'm getting hyped. Hey, Paulo, what do you got? Dratini? Stratini, come on, easy. Come on. Ice Fang, chomp. Consume the dragon, consume the pseudo legendary. You are the one that should have been a dragon, Gyarados. You should have been a dragon. Uh, you're just gonna waste my time with Dratinis. I've already wasted enough of their time. I'm moving past you swiftly. Bum, 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 ba, da, da. Lola? Another Dratini? Come on. Dragonair? Easy. Chomp down, consume the pseudo legendary. Consume it! Easy. That's the experience I like to see. Alright. Uh, that's... Oh, it is correct. Nice. I'm awesome at things. Bump, bump, bana, bump, 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 b
This is way better than the first time through. I feel like this is the last time we had to go through these trainers. I think it was a little bit of a, a little bit of a difficult run, and this has been nothing but a breeze. Out of here. Don't need. Well, don't give him on Hydro Pump. We're gonna move. It's a little bit stronger than uh, Surf. Why not? You could have that instead of Aqua Tail. Okay. We're close. We're very close, chat. Easy. One shotting these Dragonairs. Perfect. Oh my god, look at him go. I have to be smart, chat. I have to be smart. I desperately want to go against the gym right now, but we have to be smart. Just a little bit more training, and here's the reason. We we will go. I will explain the whole reason. We beat all the trainers. Look. We have two reinforcements and nothing else. We have a Poliwhirl that probably can't evolve until I beat the Elite Four. And a Graveler that could get one shot in this battle. And it's not a Golem. This is the only reasonable team. And maybe we get some more encounters in the future. But this might be our team going into the Elite Four too. So we need to beat Claire without losing a single Pokemon in my mind. I don't think anything can be replaced. So we need to get everything to level 41. And honestly, if it was about to evolve into level four or get to level 42, that would not be a bad idea. So we're gonna speed through that and get that ready to go because I think it's incredibly important. We're almost there. Do not worry. I know the grinding is not everyone's favorite. It's not my favorite either, but we're very close at this point. The max amount you can donate to a streamer, I, whatever it is, as it just better be, it better be affordable for you. I do not want anyone donating so much money they're putting themselves in a bad spot. This that is the, the one thing I will say on that. Just whatever is being donated, as long as it's something that you can, you can handle. That is the most important part by a, a million billion kajillion i donate one billion friendships it's pretty good friendships pretty sick all right chat you can throw out anything you want to talk about too we're making our way there i'm not changing one of my channel's names i'm sorry i am so worried of what that could do to the algorithm that could be really bad That eh, could be really bad. New here, I saw you on YouTube. Well, hey, welcome to the stream. We're about to go against the final gym in this game, which is very exciting if you ask me. The thing arriving tomorrow is kind of perfect for the Elite Four. I, you know what? Hey, I, I believe it. I'm, I'm ready to see it. Do I, like, not open it until the stream, or do I open it before the stream? I, I don't think you've given me... You've not given me a heads up on that. Or maybe you have. I might have just not remembered. You don't care? All right, fine. I I like to just open packages when I see the packages. It just, it's, everyone likes opening packages. Come on. Yeah, getting things is sick. Teach one of your Gyarados is thunder. Takes care of Claire's Gyarados. That might be the move. I, I think that really might be the move. I was going to check on TMs before this battle. So I think that's a really, really solid thing. Just so I do not forget. Okay. Get it close to 41, but not completely there. Come on. What are we at? Experience wise, 540. Okay. 
I think we can probably switch around a bit. Okay, perfect. Yep, you're good. Put that there. Now you get where we need you to go. We're getting close. First video you watched with uh, Pokemon named after Katie was probably the Every Level series. Chad, I've been uh, I've been thinking about it in my mind now. Chad, I'm not gonna lie. A big part of the reason I'm bringing this up is every time I do the Every Level series, the, the first part gets like almost a million views. But is it is it nearing time that I should do a a hardcore Nuzlocke of Pokemon randomly evolve every level? Is it time to get insane? Are we getting close to insanity? I think I could do it. I, I mean, you just get enough Pokemon with like the, the setup moves. I think it could take me, it honestly could take me a lot of tries. Hey, thank you so much for the tier one sub. But uh, could you imagine if I won? Could you imagine? I don't know, it'd be pretty cool. I, I think it might be time, man. I think it would be less episodes, yeah. It might, so what we're doing with this shiny series is we're trying something interesting out where the first episode that gets posted is gonna be my entire first big run all the way up past the eighth gym. And then ideally the second one we upload will be me winning the whole thing. So I don't know, maybe we'll, we'll start doing more. I hate Heart Gold. This is such a horrible game. I hate this game so much. I hate this game so much. <laughs> it is so easy to overlevel. It is so infuriating. It is so infuriating. God damn it, man. It's so infuriating. The Pokemon are so weak in the grass. It goes so slow, and I fully lost focus. I fully lost focus. Oh my god, chat. I'm so sorry. I can't lose a Pokemon in this gym. I gotta be perfect now. I cannot believe I just did that. We gotta, we gotta make sure it was worth it. Oh my god. God damn. It takes so long to train up in this stupid game. I just forgot. It's so boring. I'm trying my best. I'm just a simple guy. It's fine. We're not losing a Pokemon. It's fine. We're not losing a Pokemon. Oh my God. No, maybe no, no, it's not. No, no, we can't do that. No, give up. That's that's chaos. Okay. I have a plan. No, we have a plan, I have a plan. I have a plan I will unveil at a different time. Chat, when do we get thunder? Or how do you get thunder? People are telling me to teach thunder how and when do I get thunder? This is important, chat. Anyone know? Department store, thank you, Mike. You are my savior. All right. We are absolutely glossing past me over leveling my strat. We are certainly ignoring that. Because otherwise, I it's gonna get really scary for me. 
Chad, if I overlevel, I need to save, John, save. So if you under overlevel another Pokemon, you can just get reset. Just, just save more often, you dumb, stupid idiot, man. Just save more often. Save every time you get a Pokemon where you need it to go. Why are you so dumb? Just be better. Be better at things, man. Be better. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay. To make fun of John's time, it absolutely is. I, you, yeah, I got nothing. That was awful. Oh, boy. It's fine, though. We still got this. We're getting there close. We're getting there, getting there close. We're getting there soon. This place is a little bit better to the train up. We're getting the poly world trained up quick. And the poly world trained up quick. It's going to be worth it. It's going to be fine. Everyone's happy. Everyone, everyone's still stoked on me. Everyone loves hanging out in the stream. Everyone's like, ah, this John guy. He's so fun. Ah, he didn't mess up. He didn't mess up really badly. No, he's great. Everyone loves him. He's, he's so cool. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting really close. Okay, we're very close. Where are you at? 390. We can actually, let's just do this. Perfect. Now you. I can't say I love this chance. I've seen a lot of chance, but this is not the one I enjoy the most. Okay. All right. Just a few more to go. A few more to go, chat. Exactly, Danish. Exactly. I'm just, I'm just over leveling on purpose to make the run more interesting. Exactly. Dinon, thank you very much for the hundred. I appreciate it. Okay. Chad, I won't let, I will not let the family down. I couldn't let the family down. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I can't. It's, I would never do it. It's, it's not, it's not like me. It's not becoming. Chat, never let me play a game like Heart Gold again where I have to grind like this. Maybe I just start including like rare candying for grinding in my like hardcore Nuzlocke. So, I mean, this is just boring. I don't know. We'll see. We will also, we'll figure out berries, we'll figure out TMs, we'll do all of that after I'm done with this. Okay, come on, Crobat. Come on. Come on. No, we are far too, like, we have done too much grinding to use rare candies now. No. No, God, no. I either start the game and say I'm going to grind with rare candies or I just have to accept what I've done. If I lose again, rare candies will be used at this point in the game. This is hell. Okay. 41. We're almost there. Polychet at 40. Perfect. We're making progress, chat. We're making good progress. It's going way quicker than you'd imagine. Way quicker. Okay. Come on, chat. Throw some topics out there so that anyone watching now and watching the VOD after is not like, buddy, do the entertaining thing. Dance content creator dance. Okay. We're on our way. I'm so excited and nervous for tomorrow, man. I am so excited and nervous. Katie, uh, my, uh, my, my management has told me not to answer that. <laughs> my agency has told me not to answer that. <laughs> Dinon, thank you for the 100. Accept what you've done. <laughs> Level the rest of us and beat this dang gym. I will. It'll be amazing. Potatoes, my favorite type of food. I love potatoes way too much significantly too much for my health. If I could replace every meal with some variant of potato, I'd probably do it. Do I like cheese? Are there people in this world that dislike cheese? 
feel like everyone likes some sort of cheese. All right, come on, come on. We're so close. My favorite band? I have not listened to a band in some time. Uh, I don't think I have a favorite band, honestly. I guess maybe like growing up, I did really like System of the Down. System of a Down, Jesus. But as you can tell, I have not listened to them in a very long time. There you go, Polly Chat. <laughs> Shift Monk, come on. Purple Cliff already used that on Mikey the other day. Come on. I'm not an idiot. I'm not an idiot. Come on. <laughs> come on. I'm not Mikey. <laughs> no, I mean, you could have gotten me with that if Mikey hadn't gotten got with it. Okay. What's the poly? Okay, poly really still got a decent amount. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on, we're close. We're so close to the mountain top. I need to get there. The family needs this. The family needs this. We still have a few intimidate mons. I feel like you're trying to get me with something, Katie, and it's it's scaring me. I'm the internet has me jaded. You're worrying me. I also have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't trust the internet. The scary place. Alright. So close, chat. I have tried Unite. I very much love it. No, actually. Wait. Did I even say it? Or did you just decide to say got him? <laughs> okay, we're so close on Polywirl. That's 300. 300 again. Perfect. We're almost there! We're almost there, chat! We can do it! Come on, chat. I really need... I need any amount of energy that's just is somehow going to make this go quicker or allow me to find a full-odd shiny. I will absolutely take a full-odd shiny, too. Wh whatever comes first, man. Full-odd shiny Tauros, that'd be sick. Chat got Mikey with that, too, Chiffmunk. What... Did you watch the video today and think you could get me with the- I- I, well, I was a part of the video creating process! <laughs> you can't just get me with jokes that were used in my video! What's going on? <laughs> oh, D-Not, I appreciate it. Come on, chat, what is- what? Come on. I don't, I don't think you're better than this, but you're also better than this. You have to be. What? Shift Monk, come on! What? Come on, man! Come on! Oh, man. Am I training up? I am training up for the biggest battle I'll ever have in my life. One more! One more, Chetsy! Come on! All is fair in love and war, and I mean, I'm sure you love me, right? So, like, it, it works, you're fine, I mean... Come on, come on. What's, what's the worst thing that happened there? That, like, ah, uh, you got, like, humiliated on a big scale, and the video's doing really well, and... People are throwing jokes your way, and... We didn't give you the heads up, even in the video, and... Okay, that's my bad. I hand up, that's, 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 that's on me. That's my bad. That's my bad. 
Oh man, that's my bad. The thumbnail I sent you has a yes. That's what I like to hear, Jack. It is. I have to like. I have to imagine once you put Dream and Jaden in, like, can you lose? I don't like. I don't know if you can lose at that point. Are we bringing Drama Mondays back? Oh no. Oh no. Jack, at this point, I I need you to just create like, well actually, you should you just need to do a playthrough where you name every single Pokemon after like a famous creator. Just do like a one-off video and just see just see how absurd it can get if every Pokemon is named after a famous creator and considering how you play Every famous creator has a high likelihood of fainting, which then will cause all of their fans to then comment about it. I, I feel like you're just hijacking the, the <laughs> just YouTube. All right. <laughs> yes, Jack, yes. Okay. So, okay, we're there. We're there, chat. Now we just need to go get thunder. We just need to go get thunder. Come on. We're almost there. We're almost at the mountaintop. We're almost there. Old man? No. Nope. Okay. Sure. Come on, you. That's fine. Sell. I know I have stuff to sell. HP up. Don't need it. Protein. Give me money. Iron. Give me money. You give me money. Give me money. I don't want to talk about two Gyaradoses. That would be illegal. I don't think that would be allowed, actually. There it is. Thunder. What we need. What else do we need for Claire? What else could be good here? A blizzard? I, I don't see why not. I don't see why not. All right, let's do this. Thunder, we teach it. All right, Chetting can, Stan Chet could call mind. Oh wait, no way. Let me see something. Let me just see something. Okay, that would have been crazy. So, Polychet can Blizzard. Honestly, probably over Rain Dance. Get Focus Blast. Don't see a bad or a reason not to. Jack, they've been trying to get me this entire time. They've tried to get me with these this entire time. <laughs> they've been trying to get me with all of the jokes you used in the video. Okay. Chatting. Okay, would you chatting? Hmm. I think we do thunder here. I think we do it. Why not get it also for you? Get another thunder. Get another, okay, focus blast. Come on. We could do it for, okay, we could do it for Chetsy. I think we do this for Chetsy. We probably don't need headbutt at this point. Actually headbutt, oh my God, it's higher. Why is everyone ratioing me? What the hell is this? <laughs> I hate it here. Oh, let's get another focus blast. No, oh, Nikki, why are you calling me dumb? What if Ginger heard you say things like this? Come on. She'd be distraught. Choice scarf? We got a choice scarf, let's go! This is it, this is it, let's freaking go! Yes, chopperberries. 
Oh my god, let's freaking go, dude. This is big. This is big. I right, we're on our way. Come on, where is she? Where are the old man? Where's the dumb old man? There he is. Surf. Yep, perfect. I. Right. Let's see. Thunder, perfect. Not you. Awesome. I think... I think we actually teach this thing U-turn. I think we teach the Crobat U-turn. I think that'll actually be helpful moving forward. Probably instead of Confused Ray. Is there any other moves that we think would be good? Brain Punch? I don't think so. No. Shadow Claw? No. Avalanche? Avalanche. No. Do I have a hard scale? I don't think so. Alright, chat. I think the team is ready. Uh, do I need any any berries for anything? I don't know. Oh, do I have... Ooh. Do I have a cold... Or, let me see. Come on. Dark. No, I don't have one for a dark attack. That would be huge. Damn, man. Oh, that's so tough. Discord, real quick. XO, XO, Jack. Okay. No, I know I want Cobra. We just don't have it. <sighs> okay. This is big. This is really, really big. I don't think there's any other items to throw on there. Maybe like a citrus berry. We have orange berries. I don't think we have citrus. Um. Oh, and thun they do have Thunder Wave. They do have Thunder Wave, actually. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do I have anything for that? Are you kidding me? Oh, you son of a... Come on. All right, whatever. Damn, man. Jeez. Alright. Let's let's go through these movesets. This could help us against the Kingdra because if we could body slam that thing or hypnosis on it, that would be big. You're just gonna be helpful in general. Hmm. Sludge could be good to poison the Kingdra. I think we gotta like, we gotta lead with Weezing. We gotta lead with Weezing because we don't wanna switch. We wanna switch a water type in on the Kingdra. We lead with Chetting. We're gonna hit a thunder. Everything's gonna be great. Okay? This is it, chat! This is what we've been waiting for. Okay. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. Oh my god, I'm so I'm so nervous. It's it's all come down to this. Oh god damn it. Okay. No, no, okay, thank god. Just go over here. The family cannot be stopped. I refuse to believe. That this is where anything ends. Tomorrow's gonna be the big day. Just wait. Okay. Chat. This is it. We've made it here before. And while we've beaten Claire before, it wasn't without many casualties. And yeah, maybe I did mess up. And maybe I did overlevel a Gyarados, but we didn't need it. This was the six we were going in with the whole time. And this is the six we're leaving with. I'm noticing 
<laughs> You're gonna be a little healthier, but it's fine. It's nothing but a scratch. <laughs> we ain't worried, because we're going in. We're hitting the thunder, and we're shocking the world before we move on and truly get our revenge. So Claire, the final gym leader, the toughest gym leader this region has to throw at us. Let's see what we can do. It starts here, Chetting. I really need you to come in clutch. I need you to come in clutch. Come on, please, please. Come on. One more chance, one more chance, come on. Come on, one more chance. One more chance. Yes! Yes! Okay. We just need to kill. And it's down. The first Pokemon out of here. Thunder wheezing on top of the world. And there it is, the scariest part of this battle. Kingdra is so difficult to kill. Hydro Pump, Smoke Screen, Hyper Beam, Dragon Pulse. The only thing we can really do here, I think, is switch into Chet Carp. Okay. Come on. Easy. Easy, easy switch. Easy play. He's not going to do much. Perfect. We got to waste those Hydro Pumps the best we can. I think we Ice Fang here. I think we Ice Fang. Because Ice Fang could flinch or freeze. Strength is a little stronger, but I just... I, I think... I think Ice Fang is the best. Just give us a little bit of luck. A little bit of luck. A one flinch could be huge. Oh my god. Okay. That's what I love to see. Come on. That's fine. It's not going to do too much. It's not going to do too much. Come on. I, we're fine. We have to keep going for it. We have one more Gyarados. If this goes down, we still have one more. This is the only Pokemon we could lose. Oh my god, that's that's so close. I don't know if we would kill. I don't know if we would kill. Oh. And if we don't kill, they heal. This is tough. Wow. I think I have to go for it. I don't think I have another play. A crit, a flinch, a freeze, a max roll, and we win. Come on! Come on, Jet Carp 2! Come on! Yes! Oh my god. They use a hyper potion. That's fine. But we're still in this. Wasted a hy hydro pump, and it looks like they might just go for another. Flinch, freeze. Flinch, freeze. Flinch, freeze. Flinch, freeze. Okay, they got smart. That's fine. This was probably going to happen. Kingdra is so difficult to kill. It is so difficult to kill. It's just going into the correct Pokemon now. And we could go into Stan Chet. We could get the headbutt flinch. And I believe in that. I think we go into Stan Chet. We get the flinch. I think we do it. I think we're doing it immediately. I think we're doing it immediately. I think we're doing it immediately. We could also confuse Ray. We could also confuse Ray. We could also call Minds. Oh, there are a few different options here. I don't know if we want to... I don't know if we want to get too crazy. I think we confuse Ray. We confuse Ray and then we can call Mind. Because if we can get enough damage on this thing with hitting itself in confusion, we can kill without them healing. D 
dumb idiot. Yes. Okay, so we went first, which means we call mind as they recharge. They're, then they're gonna hit, we're gonna kill them or they hit themselves in confusion and kill them. Yes! Yeah! Oh no, but they didn't kill themselves. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. But they didn't heal! Yes! It's fine. Okay. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That was perfect. It worked out exactly how we needed it to. Okay. So we got... Oh, okay, we got the Calm Mind up. This could be the Aqua Tailing Dragonair. I don't want to risk losing another Pokemon, but I feel like staying in and headbutting is a really good play. So it's really difficult here. Because Dragon Pulse is its strongest move, and I don't think Dragon Pulse would be able to kill after... After the plus one special defense, but I don't want to risk Stan Chat, but I also... I don't want to be silly here. It's really difficult to figure out the right thing to do. I don't know. It's really tough. I think we risk it for the biscuit. I think we risk it for the biscuit. This is a two shot with headbutt. Yes! Stan Chats. You monster. And now we don't have to risk it. We don't need to risk it. Because we outspeed. So we can always bring this thing in later. But we don't risk it here. I don't think we do. I think we go into Polychet. And I think we can Blizzard. Or we go into Chetsy. We go into Chetsy because Chetsy has the special defense. We don't risk it. We only lose one Pokemon in this battle and it's going to be something that's immediately replaced. Thunder Wave is annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Okay. Psybeam can confuse. They miss perfect. I hate that. I hate that so much. We just need to be able to kill this thing with a combination of three Pokemon. We just got to kill this thing with a combination of three and we can do that. We can absolutely do that. This can't kill, so it doesn't matter. That does zero damage. I think we're fine. I think we got this. Come on. I think we got this. Oh, Chetsy. Chetsy. Chetsy! Come on! Bang! Bang! The Dragonair goes down! The family's victorious! Eight gyms, eight wins! It's time to make our way towards evolutions and revenge! Let's go! Let's freaking go, chat. Let's go back and heal. Say goodbye to a fallen member. And I'm keeping the hype music going because usually we're sad. But in this moment, in this moment, we're celebrating Gyarados with hype. Oh, God. Did I hear family? Oh, Dom. Oh, Dom. Oh. Chat Carp, let me take that. Let's go. Chat Carp 2. We could not have done it without you. You won't be forgotten, but this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning for the Chet family. So while it's sad to say goodbye to you, there's always a bright side as we say hello to another friend. We bring this over. We put you over there. And we have a shiny Dratini to go get. Before we get there, we're opening a pack. You're not wrong. You know how this goes. I have opened so many packs. I'm painfully addicted to opening Pokemon cards. I just want to get 
I just want to get one of the really cool cards. I just want to be a, I want to be a card guy. Everyone will be like, hey, 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 he's just a cool card guy. Then Jack will respect me. It'll be great. It's psychic energy. The hangriest Morpico. Ew. <laughs> Bufalon. Ew. Mienfu. Snake guy. Tip tapity tip tap. Plants. Ooh, Meowstic. Okay, I actually kind of like that reverse. Rare and nothing. And nothing. That's fine. That's fine, chat, because we're on to something even bigger. Let's go. It's not the gift Dratini we're looking for. The gift Dratini cannot be, well, it's not affected by Q Charm. It can be shiny, but not affected. All right, Surf, let's teach you to the, the little Totodile guy. Come on, chat. What are the odds of the Dratini encounter again? If anyone wants to throw that at me, I would not be opposed to hearing. I didn't know it would have thunder. I forgot thunder hits when you're high in the sky. I was flying above the clouds. And it hit me with thunder, it's not my fault. They cheated. I was above the clouds. They hit me with thunder. They cheated, it's not my bad. They're big cheaters, I'm running away. I don't like them. They upset me. They hurt my feelings. Okay. Maybe they broke the cloud? They didn't break the cloud. Okay. That's fine, Magikarp. You're not what I'm looking for, buddy. Come on. Perfect. Cool. Calcium. Let's battle all these trainers. Get that over with as we wait for the repel to end. Stand chat. You've done great. Let's just keep headbutting things till they're dead. Move that music just a little bit lower. Get my head out of the clouds. It's difficult, okay? It's difficult to do that. It's easier said than done. Okay, boom, easy. I do not have Whirlpool on a Pokemon. Oh, I do have it on, or I can have it. Yes, easy. There we go, Totodile. That's why we're using you, little buddy. Perfect. Okay. Here we go. This could take a while to get a Dratini encounter, but I feel it. This is our moment. That's dupes. We re-roll every Magikarp we see. We re-roll every Magikarp. We re-roll it. We don't care. We're re-rolling every Magikarp. I, I want to get that item. We, we doesn't matter. We're re-rolling them. Come on. Just pink Tratini. Make my day. Make my day. Come on. Make my day. This come. It's a lot of gold fish. I know it's the snack that smiles back, but this is not the time nor the place. Come on. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Someone did say 10% surfing, right? I didn't hear incorrect. Why is there someone continually saying lol and ha ha ha? It's confusing me deeply. <laughs> Just 
Come on. No! Damn. Damn, man. Ugh. That hurts. The dragon fang hurts more. Ugh. Well, hey, the family is still strong. Sure, sure, sure. Strong. I, I don't. Both. I don't care, dude. Can you give me your badge? Give me your damn badge. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Well, we do have a chance at one more thing. We do have a chance at one more encounter, chat. It's not completely over. It's not over yet. Thank you. I will, sure, I'll take Dragon Pulse. It's not over yet. Elm, I don't care. Well, wait, actually, does he give me the Master Ball? I might care, Elm. I was being hasty. Wait for me. Come on, Professor. Boom! That's what I like to see. Cool. Don't you dare talk to me about the Camino girls or however you say it. I don't care. I don't want to talk with them. What I want to do is make my way. What are you doing? I thought I beat you a long time ago. Okay. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I right, come on. We haven't gotten a shiny, I think, all episode beyond what was pretty much a guaranteed one. Silence is what we need. We need to channel the Pidge Chet Trio, and only then will we get what we so seek. Only then will we get what we're seeking. I'm not incorrect, right? This is the Whirl Islands. Come on. Even if I have to go down, come on. There it is. Come on! Yeah! I had no idea if that was shiny. Woo! There we go. <laughs> Even if this is just Eevee fodder, I will take it. I will take it. There we go. Beggars can't be choosers, and that's what's going on here. You can just get into a regular Ultra Ball. There you go! Let's go! Yes! That is what we love to see. Chet Gong on the team. Boom. Let's leave here. And let's, uh... Another one. Cool. Let's make some big decisions. Okay. Uh, you know what? We'll fly over here, because it's probably where we'll train. Okay. We have no more encounters for a bit. Alright, you. Let's just put you there. All right. Shats. <sighs> Camino girls. Let's, let's look at them. Let's look. Umbreon. Espeon. Okay. Level 38. 
We will need to lead off with Crobat because we taught it. You turn. But this is going to be really tough. I'm going to have to pick the correct team to deal with all of these. We're going to need to have the Golem on the team and trained up. That's for damn sure. So we're going to need the Golem for multiple Pokemon. Thunderbolt could come in handy. Hmm. Did I teach you Focus Blast? Did teach you Focus Blast? That could be really, really nice. No, it's not going to be nice for the Umbreon because it's freaking Umbreon. Okay. Okay. This is going to be really tough, chat. That's going to be a really, really tough thing. But I think that's a tomorrow problem. We can also train the team up. Heart gold. Let's figure out the level cap for tomorrow. Heart gold. Heart gold. Elite four. This is always an interesting decision when it comes to a hardcore Nuzlocke. The first person's highest level Pokemon is level 42. We're already past that. Second person's highest is level 44. Third person, 46. Fourth, 47. Champion is at 50. I feel like level 45 is a good level. I feel like 45 and in between. I feel like that's a good in between. I think 45 would be the level we go for, which means we don't have too much grinding left to do, and we can't grind up too much before we battle the evolutions because we do still have to go through Victory Road and all of that. So chat, that is going to be the end of today. I will be live again tomorrow with this. I don't know exactly what time. I've been starting around 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time most days. So I would just assume it's going to be around then. But tomorrow is going to be a very special day. And we will finally have a chance to get our revenge and hopefully take down the Elite Four.